It's no secret that over the past few years, there has been no team more disappointing than Texas A&M football. In 2018, they hired Jimbo Fisher, and many thought they would become a consistent top 10 college football program. Well, that hasn't happened. Their best season was the COVID year, going 9-1, with their only loss to the eventual national champion Alabama that year. Then the next year, they went 8-4 and four and went on to sign the best recruiting class ever with their class of 2022, signing 8 5-stars and 21 4-star recruits. Expectations were sky high once again, and they finished with their worst record since Jimbo was hired, going 5-7 and seven last year. It's clear Jimbo is the man for the job, so the Aggies went out and hired coach Johnny Sausage. He believes this program is a sleeping giant, so for the next 20 years, he will be taking over the Texas A&M Aggies in hopes of turning them into a dynasty. He's got five lofty goals for this program, and if we fail to accomplish all five goals in these next 20 seasons, I will be giving away a $50 gift card of choice to a random comment in the comment section, and I'll pick the winner after seven days of the video being posted. So the five goals are seven national titles, 10 SEC titles, one Heisman Trophy winner, which I think might be the hardest one to get because of my 60-year dynasty video, I don't think I got a single Heisman the entire video, so that'll be interesting. 100 first-round draft picks, and finally, five perfect 15-0 seasons. Even with these lofty goals, Coach Sausage feels confident he can accomplish every single one and turn Texas A&M into the next college football dynasty. The team is really not that bad talent-wise. It's just about Coach Sausage getting every single ounce of potential out of the team that's possible. And you know what, dude? If we can get every ounce of potential out of this team, we could do a lot of good things in year one. So I'm looking forward to it. Connor Wegman is undoubtedly the quarterback of the future. He is our messiah. Yeah, you could call him that. 81 overall, 81 speed. He's a dull threat kid. 6'3", 215 from Texas. So he's a hometown kid. If we could get a national title his senior season, that would be really, really good progress. And a position group I got my eye on is this receiver room, dude. There's some young talent that I'm liking, man. Some Micah Teasy, Raymond Cottrell. I got Jordan Anthony down here. And then we got some young guys that are starting, like Evan Stewart. This guy's insane in real life. I should have expected this, man. I don't know why I expected to be better. 2-4, and 0-3 in the SEC. We are not good. Oh, wonderful, dude. We lost to Food Week 1. Then we beat FCS Southeast. Lost to Bama. Beat Iowa State. Our offense is so bad, dude. This is just like in real life, bro. We cannot move the ball. We already got four commits on the trail. They're all 79 plus overall. I mean, these guys are all insanely good at football. The issue is not going to be acquiring talent. The issue is going to be not choking to teams that we should beat. So yeah, that's going to be the challenge of the video. And for the rest of our board, it's kind of scary. I'll be honest with you. You know, Coach Sausage is kind of a noob at this point. So his recruiting points are not that high. So we're probably going to lose most of these battles, which sucks. But if we do lose them, I'm sure we'll be able to scout and find some new guys to add to our board. So I'm not really too worried. We're playing Auburn this week. As you guys can see, we have the advantage. But as you guys know, that means absolutely nothing, especially for Texas A&M. So let's just go out there and try and outplay them, guys. Are they going to run? I think they're going to run. I Okay, yeah, they're running. It's a triple option thingy. Oh, my God. That guy's fast. At least we didn't fall over like a lawn chair. We're tied at seven, and we have the ball in their territory. So, just need to capitalize right here. Connor. Dude, Connor looks so sweet, dude. The left arm has an arm sleeve. The right one doesn't. I don't know what it is about it, but it looks cool to me. That's a touchdown, dude. Look good. Feel good. Play good. That's what they say, so. Oh, yes. Okay, we have a chance to win the game right here, guys. All we need to do is just get one single first down, and it is for sure game over. I like this trap play. Is it gonna work? See, I freaking knew it, dude. Oh, man. i just too good. Let's go. I'm not that good at the game. You guys know that I suck, but I'll take the W, baby. Let's go, boys. Thank goodness we turned the ship around, Coach Sausage. We need to prove to everybody that we're not Coach Fisher and Coach Jimbo, but dude, look at Mississippi State. They went 11 and 1. Like, what, dude? Beat Vandy by 7. Mississippi State beat us by 11. I mean, our offense is still just not good, dude. We barely beat UTEP. Like, there is still a lot of improvements that need to be made. I think I'm sick, man. I got a stuffy nose. I don't really know, though. Back in, like, the 1600s, this would be a death wish, so at least I have Tylenol to help me out. You're gonna run base right here because it's all about that base. At least that's what Nikki Mina J said. Come on, touchdown. Yep, it is, baby. It's all about that base. Let's go, boys. Good start. We're at 15 in the third quarter. Everything's going well so far, but defense, I need you guys to hanker down right here. Come on, boys. Pick. What? How did that... That's not hankering down, guys. Tajad Palmer just scored. Yeah, we're up nine. We're gonna make this field goal. This game's gonna be over. We're gonna win the bowl game against UAP. I was hoping we blow them out, you know, kind of flex our SEC muscles, but that did not happen. Three guys getting drafted. They're all going in the fourth round, so best of luck to you guys in the NFL. Hopefully, you tear it up. Then for the graduates, I mean, really not that many great players. I mean, there's some decent guys down here, but, like, there's still, like, 90-plus overalls. Like I said, dude, the, the foundation for this team's really solid. It's just a matter of developing it, so we'll see how next season goes. Saturday day wise. We really want Fitzgerald Draper. 6,000 points. Like, this guy's an absolute stud. We need him badly. We're going to get Jalen Camaraderie. Really happy about him. Sonny Gaines and Noah Garrett. I don't think we're going to be able to get either of these guys, even if we put points into them. So, kind of waving the white flag there. But Dylan, we're putting points into Kareem, Kyle, and then Tyler Swaim. If we don't get him, we don't get him. But I, we don't really need him. So, it's kind of my thought process. Wow, we got Tyler. We got Fitzgerald and we got Jalen. So, we did not get Sonny or Noah, but we got everybody else. Oh, that's a big W, dude. Sonny Day was a huge success, Coach Sausage. Coach Sausage, man. 
Ken, you did a phenomenal job on the trail. It's never that difficult to recruit at Texas A&M. You know, they got the boosters. They're throwing bags left and right. But the thing is, Coach Sausage, that I'm worried about is developing these players and keeping them out of trouble off the field. But I feel like Coach Sausage is a great disciplinary guy. He used to be in the Army, so I think we'll be able to do that. Got Fitzgerald Draper and also Nathan Hubble. So a really good pass rush duo right there. Vita Turner, he's only a three-star, but he was a gem. Jalen Camarari, I think it's how you say it, from Louisiana. He's really good. Jamal Tapscott, 6'3 safety, absolute genetic monster. I mean, there's some really, really good players in this class. Wow, I'm not gonna lie. I really anticipated like a top five class. We signed a lot more three stars than I thought, but honestly, dude, I think this class is probably one of the best classes in the country. So whatever, man. Recruiting rankings can suck a goat. Feel pretty good about the roster. I think it's definitely better than the roster last season. So it's all about just taking the, the step forward. I think we could probably win double digit games this season. That should be obtainable, but we do have Texas and Oklahoma in the new SEC. So we'll see how that goes. Connor's back at quarterback for us again this season. I thought he was pretty solid for us last year. Hopefully he can take another step up. 82 speed, 90 agility, 90 excel. Now, he's not very aware, though, which kind of sucks, but he's still pretty decently aware. And we have a really good defensive end duo. Start with Shamar Turner, 6'4", 292, 90 overall defensive end. And then also LT, I think that's Olivia's or Olivia's Overton. I remember him being a top recruit, 6'5", 267. They're both really, really talented. I think they're pretty good pass rushers. It's just they're both very slow. 72 speed and 68 speed. Just not the fastest man in the world, but they're still big and strong. Four and three, just yucky, dude. I was really hoping for 10 wins this season. 10 wins is definitely not going to happen, dude. At least they're three and one in the SEC, but that also means that we lost two teams out of conference so i do not like seeing that who do we lose to b kentucky you know the smu arkansas san jose State. oh man at least we beat mississippi state and auburn the last two weeks but come on guys for our recruiting class early on we have some really really good players committed like cc nixon Corey jackson kevin lee like we already got three 80 plus overall four if you count our kicker then we got lavelle fuller like there's some really really talented players already and it's only like week eight or week seven or something like that so i'm really happy with how it started playing lsu on the road I forget what they call them. It's like Jumbo Place. I forget. It's, they have a cool name for LSU. Whatever it is, Louisiana, you know what I mean. We're playing them. It's raining. It's very scary. Let's just go get a win. Hostile environment. Death Valley. It's very scary. Oh, it's going to be touched touching this. Dude, that's just a beam. Shema. Oh, that's Evan Stewart. It, they both have the same last name. I'm an idiot. Connor, good job, guys. Good job, everyone. Let's go offense. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Coach Sausage must love this. We're up seven points. Second quarter. Got a chance to score it here. Let's capitalize. X? Oh, no, that was stupid, wasn't it? Oh, it wasn't stupid! Micah T is getting the end zone! That was not necessarily a spin move, but it worked! Let's go! I don't know how that play transpired, but it happened. Good job, offense. Let's go! Okay, guys, we're up four points in the fourth quarter. If they score a touch right here, we are fudge. So, let's just now let that happen. Come on, defense. Let's get a pick. Throw some stupid Nussmeyer. Oh, God. He's trying to test us. Oh, that was stupid! Let's go! I don't know who that guy's first last name is. I just hope his first name's not Nick. Let's go, baby! Come on, guys. Cut it back. <laughs> Ribbon Owens! Oh, my God! Yes! I think he was a five-star. He was really, really important. So, that is what those guys do. Why did I expect anything different, dude? I thought we could maybe get 10 wins a season. No. Not even close, man. At least we were 6-3, and three, though, in the SEC. Like, that's good to see. Beat Ole Miss. Lost to Texas and Alabama back-to-back -back weeks. Then we bounced back against Missouri. So, we just finished 2-2. Two and two. I mean, at least we beat our rival Missouri. I didn't realize they were rivals. Probably because, like, the Southwestern Conference back in the day. So, that makes sense, I guess. Texas or Gator Bowl against Louisville. I don't really think this game should be close at all. So, let's just win and end the season on a high note. Oh, God. I'm scared. Connor, you got speed to you, don't you, buddy? Connor, is this going to be a touchdown? Connor, please. Connor, you see fast enough. Let's go, Connor. This is what I'm looking for, boys. We went completely total domination this game. We're up 10. Another touchdown, and things could start to get a little spicy for us. In a good way, of course. Even though I don't like spicy things at all. Come on, Connor. Let me see what you're made of, bro Chacho. Oh, yeah, that's horrible defense. What are they doing, Muhammad? Muhammad, let's go! So much effort and fight. That's how Coach Sausage coaches up the men. Let's go, guys. Good start. The defense is just balling out, dude. Only giving up 10 points. We're up 14 right here. I think we're going to score another touchdown, because I got all the capitals in the world. So let's put this one away. Come on, Connor. Connor, Connor, Connori. Oh, that's a touchdowny. Let's go. Yeah, GG's in the chat, man. Back to back bull game W's. I mean, both times, you know, the bull game teams we played weren't very good, but I don't care. We got the W. Let's go. Two guys transferring Parker Wade and also Jim Jamal Tapscott. Not really thrilled. Both these guys are both very good players, so it's definitely not good. But we have four guys staying instead of going to the draft, so I love seeing that. Oh, Evan Stewart's coming back. Olivia's Overton, Bryce Foster, and Shamar Stewart. So the team next year should be absolutely yoked. And then for the guys graduating, going after the NFL, best of luck to you guys. I mean, there's some solid players. 
players here. We're not really going to miss them too much. I mean, they're decent, but they're not like absolutely insane. And then we only have four guys graduated that are not going to get drafted. Sucks for you guys. You know, it's unfortunate, but I'm sure you guys have other goals and aspirations. So just go chase those. Sweet Jesus, Arch Manning is transferring from Texas. I did not expect this at all. Oh my God. Okay, Tanner. It's your lucky day, buddy. Arch, you're going to be a stud here, man. You might have to sit for an extra year though, because Connor, we'll see though. I don't know. Maybe it'll be Arch or Connor. Either way, we're going to be set at quarterback. Driscoll Sonny Day is here for Coach Sausage, and we really want Tyler Johnson to do. Putting 2K into him, and we already have a pretty good lead on him, so we should be able to reel him in. Also, Dion Hilliard, we're trailing for. We're going to put 6K into him. He's 6'5", 242, just a genetic monster. And then Brent Harris, we really want him. And Sam Brency. I think we should be able to get him with only putting a K, but I'm kind of scared about that. But when it comes to Shy Allen, we don't really need him because receivers are so easy to get in this game. He's only 73 overall, so not really going to push for him. I don't know how he did it, but another signing day where we get every single person we wanted. Oh my goodness, we beat TCU by 210 points. Oh man. We did not get Shy Allen though. Didn't really want him. So goodbye, Shy. Have fun at TCU, man. So this is the class 18 man hall. I still have yet to get like a 90 overall plus recruit, which is pretty unfortunate. I want to get one of those, like a really good quarterback, like a really good running back or something. That would be nice to get next season. So we'll see if we can find one of those. Tyler Johnson's is really good. Deion Hilliard, you guys know I wanted him. 6'5", 242 as a linebacker. It's just terrifying. Corey Jackson's another good athlete. CC Nixon, Kevin Lee. I mean, just so many studs, dude. Not even top 10 and we signed two five stars, man. We're still signing a lot of three stars, which I'm really like not upset about. Like the class is good. Like I'm not upset with the haul we brought in. It just sucks that we're not ranked higher in the recruiting trail, which is all right, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Training results have came in and this team is looking quite nice. Oh my God. Oh my. Whoa. Holy. Yeah. Okay. If we do not win a national title, actually, I can't. We're Texas A&M, dude. I got to tamper my expectations, especially for only being year three. But dude, this team could win a natty. There's no doubt about that. Connor's going to be the quarterback this year. I completely forgot that transfers cannot start their first season in this game. So Arch, you are going to be the man next year. Please don't go to the draft. I will be very, very sad if that happens. As for the defensive side of the ball, dude, we got a defensive tackle room that is yoked, man. 6'5", 296. 6'4", 296. 6'2", 329. Just three big men, they men. Coach Sauce is going to have to recruit some defensive tackles this cycle on the recruiting trail, but I'm sure we'll find some studs. I just need to stop having high expectations. I mean, we're 6-2, but I really thought, you know, we had a chance for a national championship season. No, dude, we already lost two games. The odds of that are just very, very small. Beat Clemson week one, barely beat USF and Vanderbilt. We smacked Louisiana Tech, lost to Arkansas, Mississippi State. Oh my gosh, guys, we need to stop losing to the crappy teams in the SEC West. Like, I get they're both ranked, but they're not even close to as high of an overall as we are, man. Like, we're just getting outplayed, and they're both home games, too. Ugh. Taking a look at the championship contenders. I love looking at this thingy, my blobber, and I need a little bit of morale boosting right now. Okay, so 10 right now, three next year, three the year after, and then one in 2018, which is four years from now. So, guys, we should be in the CFP at least two out of the next three seasons. So, we just need to go out there and just stop sucking. Some more good news is recruiting. Once again, Coach Sausage, he's doing a great job on the trail. Like, these classes are stacking up nicely year after year. It's just a matter of not losing on the field, which is something that we struggle with. But this guy's 6'8", and his name's Money. I'm jealous, dude. But yeah, the rest of these guys, man, they're all good. Like, this entire recruiting class so far is just phenomenal. Oh my goodness, dude. These Ole Miss jerseys are so sweet, man. I'm jealous, but either way, Coach Sausage, we need to take care of business. They're a top 10 team, so if we could pick up this win, that would be big time. Come on, offense. You've been awful. We're down seven, and they have the ball in the red zone. Things are not looking good so far. I mean, I really hope they pass, but I think they're going to run. Actually, I'm run committing, so I hope they run. Yeah, there we go. No. Okay, just nobody. Yeah, yeah. Dang it. Yeah, we are getting butchered. We're down 24 in the fourth quarter. It ain't looking like we're going to win this one. That's for sure. Tackle. Please, or Please don't let that... Yeah, oh, oh God. Man, yeah, it's over. We lost. God dang it, dude. We got freaking killed on the road. <sighs> 99 overall team goes 8-4. and 5-4 four. and four in the SEC. Just not very good offense. Even worse defense. It's just not good enough, man. It's just as simple as that. Lost to Texas. Then we bounced back beating Alabama and Missouri. So finished 2-1 and one after that curb stomping that Ole Miss gave us. When it comes to recruiting, the class is insanely good, dude. It's just kind of like how it is in real life with Texas A&M. Like, they get all the good recruits. They get all the good players. And they just do nothing with him. Coach Sausage, I do not want you to be Jimbo Fisher. All right, dude, you need to snap out of it. We need to start winning some ball games. And there's only three guys left on the board. We should be able to get every single one of them in the offseason. So, like, this recruiting class is going to be insane. Another bowl game that means legitimately nothing, dude. Trans Perfect Music City Bowl gets Illinois. I'm going to simulate this. I am just tired of playing games that don't matter. Like, guys, get a 10 wins. Let's play like a New Year's Six Bowl or something. Not this crap. I really don't even care if we lose this game. Like, if we lose, we lose. If we win, we win. Illinois is not good. Like, we should, we're the way better team. We're not even 
overall for crying out loud. And oh, 27 point win. So domination. All right. Well, at least the end of the season on a high note, I guess. We got two guys leaving us early. And for this video, if like they're projected to go round three or higher, so like round three, round two, round one, I'm going to let them leave. But if it's anything lower, I'll try and convince them to stay. So these two guys, Mike Atiz and Walter Nolan, they get to leave early. Have fun in the NFL, you two. And we have six guys staying. So really, really happy about that. I don't really blame them, though, dude. Like we've done nothing of value in college at all. We haven't even won our own division for crying out loud, dude. It's just been embarrassing. As for our draft picks, I mean, we got two first round picks, but dude, this is just so depressing. All these guys, and we couldn't even win 10 games. Ugh, so annoying. Only four other guys graduating that are not going to get drafted. Sucks for you guys, but I mean, you guys were decent college football players, so it's not like you guys were off or anything. Coach Sausage, once again, man, you did your magic. It's just, we need you to start casting some spells on the on-the-field performance, because that has been lacking recently, but this is by far the best class we've signed this entire video. Like, it's incredibly loaded, man. There's so many studs. We finally got, like, a really good guy, like Anthony Nearing, 88 overall. Just an absolute dog. Also got Kendall Harrison. We really needed a good running back, and we got a five-star, so can I complain about him. KJ Connor's really good. Chad Washington. We got some really, really good defensive players. Number two in the country. I really anticipated number one, but it looks like my Wolverines, man, they went seven and six. Ugh, feel bad for him, man. But I mean, we signed three five stars, 10 four stars, eight three stars. It's a really good class. You know, I thought last year's team was really good. This year's team is even better, but you know what that, that means? It means we'll probably go seven and five and have to play in some random bull game called like the Taco Bell Bowl or something stupid, dude. So we'll see. Arch Manning is going to be our quarterback. Something I never thought I would say during this entire video. I don't know why he transferred, but you know what, Arch? We're happy to have you, man. 96 overall, 79 speed. He's a good passer, good runner. He's a little bit of a dull threat. He'll be good. And for whatever reason, our free safety room is really, really talented. We got Jared Kerr, 98 overall, and also Dalton Brooks, 95 overall. Like, these two guys are studs, man. Like, 99 awareness for both of them. Like, they're not going to be lost in the field. They're going to be very, very good. At least we're projected to finish number one in the SEC West. Like, we're a top four team preseason. Like, the team's talent's there compared to the rest of the SEC, you know, Alabama's really good, so is Texas, so it's not gonna be easy, but it's, oh, wow, oh, so he was also a 99 overall, like, it will not be easy, man, but we were still definitely capable of winning a national title this year. Coach Sausage, man, I think the blame is starting to fall on you, dude. I mean, we're 7-3, and 4-3 and three in the conference with a 99 overall team in back-to-back -back years. We are not, we can't even win the SEC this season. Yes, Texas is 6-2, and two, so yeah, we're just screwed, man. And two of our wins were in overtime against Baylor and Vanderbilt. Man, I said, man, and then we lost to Arkansas, of course, because we lose to them every season. Lost to Auburn, and then we lost to Texas, so. All three of our losses, just not close games at all. All double digits, man. Our offense in those games, too, were just not good. For recruiting, the class looks good again. It's going to be a much smaller class, though, because the last, like, two or three cycles, we've signed, like, 20-plus guys. So this cycle, it's going to be probably, like, a 12 to 15-man class, if I were to guess, maybe 16. I don't think we're going to get everybody that's left on our board, but for the guys we have committed, they're all good. I mean, it's the same thing every single season. Coach Sausage is recruiting well. We just got to start playing well. Playing out. Alabama. I'm really in a sad mood right now, so I'm listening to some Conan Gray, trying to cheer myself up. We need to win this game, guys. We need to get to 10 wins this season. No one could score, but I mean, at least we're going to have the lead right here. I wish our offense would play better, but the defense is definitely doing their part. We have a good kicker, too, so this should go in. Good job, Samia. All right, we got the lead, boys. Just got to hold on to it now. I shouldn't be shocked at this point, dude. We cannot score. We're down 11, and we have three points. Like, it's just not good, Arch. I don't know what's been going on, dude, but we need to figure it out. Oh, that's a lot of yards. Is that a touchdown? Oh, I think it might be. Archie! Oh, that's gonna be a touchdown, yeah. Boom, no way he's gonna get caught, right? Oh, thank goodness, dude. All right, we have some fast guys at receiver. Let's get a stop defense. Let's score offense. Let's make it happen. Okay, Arch, this is your chance for redemption. You're lucky the defense has been bailing you out all game. We need a touchdown here, and we can win. Lol. Okay, that was... Not good. Okay, that was my fault, Arch. I blame myself! God dang it, dude! I keep sucking! God! We're gonna lose again. Once again, we beat Missouri, so we finished 8-4. Just another disappointing season. Okay, it's the Birmingham Bowl again, but I'm probably gonna play this one because Notre Dame is always a fun team to play a little leprechaun, so... Let's just try and end the season with a win. Run commit again. They're not gonna pass. See? Yep, run. Tackle! Or... We all got faked out, dude. That guy's fast, too. Did not expect to see that happen. I just, at this point, man, I can't be surprised by anything that happens. We're already down 14 points. They scored another touchdown. Oh, there's a touchdown. See, there we go. All right, well, we got the game back. Finally, we're playing some decent football, man. We're up 14 points in the fourth quarter now. I mean, guys, just gonna stop right here, and I think it's game over. Come on, defense. Come on, boys. Oh, it's a screen. What kind of play call was that? Yucka ducka do get a tackle. Yeah, there we go. All right, that should be GG's. Let's go, man. I should have known, dude. I simulated to the end of the game, and somehow they tied it up, and we're in overtime now, so we need to get a stop and get a touchdown and to win the game? I don't know, man. Come on, let's just score. Forget this nightmare ever happened. Okay, there we go. Got a touchdown. Now we just need to stop defense. Come on, defense. Fourth down. We got this. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Please, something could happen. What?
Oh, illegal touching. Oh, yes, we're gonna get bailed out, aren't we? Please. Yes, Zebra Man, thank you. Oh, my goodness, dude. This game shouldn't have even been close, but you know what, dude? We decided to choke. I'm just glad that we pulled out the dub. Finally, dude. All right, just going to the draft. So is DJ Hicks. I mean, you guys were good, I guess. I don't really know, man. The, the jury is out on Arch Manning. I don't know if he was good or not. I mean, we lost four games this season, and he was the quarterback, so. Then we have a good amount of guys staying for another season, so I'm really happy to see this. What's the six? Yes, yeah, six guys staying for another season. I mean, these guys are all 90-plus overall players, so we'll gladly have them back with open arms. And then for the guys graduating and going after the NFL, best of luck to all of you. You know, I wish you guys could have accomplished more in your college career than winning nine games per season, but you know what, man? It just didn't happen for whatever reason it was. I still don't know if it was a curse or maybe it was Coach Sausager's fault. I just don't know yet. And then we only have three guys graduating that are not going to get drafted. I mean, these guys are all good enough to get drafted. Just does not look like they will, which is unfortunate. But you know what? Their dream's not dead. They can still succeed in the NFL. For Saturday day, we're going after these three guys. Presley, Elijah, without an eye. That's a little odd. Never. I think that they're, uh, the parents definitely misspelled that in the birth certificate. Jay Sean Boswell, but Stephen Frey, we're not going after him. We don't really need him because we already have a tackle committed and two guards. So it's not really the of the world if we lose them. Just glad that we got the three guys we wanted, especially the guy without an eye in his name. Stephen Frey, though, you're going to USC. Have fun, man. As for our recruiting class, though, it's probably the worst one we've signed this video, but it's still really stinking good. I mean, we only signed 13 guys, which, like I said, small, but we didn't really need that many guys signed because the last, like, three or four recruiting classes, we've signed a ton of guys, so. Jacarthy Brown's really good. Malachi White is also very solid. Samson, oh, is that the guy in the Bible that's, like, really strong? Oh, that's right. I think it is, so. Samson's probably really strong, too. Presley's good. Elijah Thompson without an eye. Just a really good haul. 16th ranked class of the country. Not a single five-star, but still signed seven four-stars, 12 three-stars. I like the class a lot. It's not as good as the last couple, like I said, but it's still a good class. Once again, the team's better than the previous year, but I think it's kind of just about, like, you know, on-field performance. Because the on-field performance, dude, look at all the 90-plus overalls. Jeez, oh, this team is so good, guys. Just please start winning games. Make me happy again. Marcel Reese would be the quarterback for us this season. I really thought it'd be Vita Turner, but he did not progress in the offseason as well as Marcel did. Marcel went up plus six. Vita went up like plus two or plus three. So Marcel obviously wanted the job more. He's got 99 acceleration, 90 speed. Like he's definitely a good quarterback. I'm excited to see what you can do at the helm. For the defense, we have a white cornerback that's a 97 overall. So that's a genetic anomaly if I've ever seen one. And also Javon Thomas, six foot 195. Like these two are very, very good. I'm sure they'll be able to lock down their sides of the field. Like I'm very confident in these two cats. First schedule of the season, the non conference is really, really easy, but every other game. A challenge you. South Carolina's ranked. Arkansas has beaten us like every game so far this video. At least that's what it feels like. Mississippi State, uh, Auburn's ranked top 10. Ole Miss is ranked in the top 25. Texas is number two in the country. Alabama, of course. I mean, the thing we have going for us is that we definitely have the best roster in college football. It's just a matter of, you know, coaching that roster and developing them and making sure that they play good. Because that is something we've struggled with the last four years. First time this entire video, we're actually undefeated. It's only two games in, though, so I got to temper my expectations. But our points for and points against is really, really good. So that's a welcome sight. Beat, oh god, we beat New Mexico and FCS East. At least we dominated them, but I was hoping it was somebody like more scary, but no, these two are very crappy. And for week three, we're playing South Carolina at home. They're really good, actually. Like, they're ranked, like, pretty high, so it's not gonna be an easy game, but I still feel confident we can pull out the dub. And for this game against South Carolina, we have 18 guys visiting. Yes, Coach Sausage is that confident that we have 18 guys visiting for this one game. Guys, if we do not win this game, I'm gonna be very, very depressed, so just please go out there and win. Let's see what you're made of here, Marcel. I don't know how I feel about this player. There's a lot of, like, hitches and stuff. It's kind of cool looking. Is it gonna work? It's all that matters. We don't even need a dude. I love having quarterbacks that can run, dude. Oh, it's so awesome. We're up three, and honestly, a part of me wants me to really go for this, but I think the smart move is to just take our three points. Go up six at halftime. Hopefully, they don't score before half. So, I feel pretty confident. We're doing good so far. If the defense plays like this all year long, man, we got a really, really good chance. The offense is doing okay, but if we can score right here, I think this was definitely over. Marcel, I know you're a fast hyena, but if you have to give this, then give it. Okay, you have to keep it, Marcel. Use your hyena speed, Marcel! Let's go, man! Yeah! Impressive win at home, guys. We should have a bunch of recruits commit. This is a W day, man. Great day to be a freaking Aki. Oh, I'm gonna spaz. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at all these commitments. I mean, oh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just too happy right now. Oh. So many yellows. Ah, it's nice. Finally, Coach Sausage finished 11 to 1. 8 won the SEC. I mean, I wish we were 12 and 0, but dude, I'm not going to complain, bro. We finally got double digit wins. We're finally going to be in the SEC championship. So, all in all, very, very successful season. The Vampire Piggies are our kryptonite, man. We lost them again this year. I don't even remember. Have we even beaten them once in this video? I don't even know, dude. We had some close wins along the way, obviously. Beat Ole Miss, Texas, and Alabama. Three game road streak right there that we somehow managed to go undefeated in. So, really happy about that. I mean, we had our fair share of close games, but I'm just 
glad that we pulled them out. As for recruiting, it's insane, dude. 22 commits already. We don't have a single guy left on our board that has not committed to us already, so I'm really happy with how it went. Coach Tachas did a phenomenal job this season. The lowest overall is a 71. Like, there's 22 guys. There's a lot of depth, a lot of talent, like, top to bottom, dude. Just an awesome class. Finally, in the SEC title game, Coach Saucers were taking on South Carolina, the game kicks. We played them in the regular season. I played that game, and we absolutely annihilated them, so let's just try and do that again, my friends. Defense kind of let us down. We already had seven points, but it is what it is. We're just great here. Yeah, this is gonna work. I got utter confidence. Yeah, that's just too easy. Okay, I thought for a second it didn't work. Corey Jackson was just too big and strong. That was just too easy of a touchdown. Let's go, boys. Good start. We got a tie ball game on our hands, but you know what? We do have the ball inside the red zone, so I'm feeling a touch right here. We got this. What kind of defense was that? That was crappy defense. I'll take it, man. Easy peasy touchdown. We got the lead now. We're in a terrific spot, guys. We're up seven points, and we have the ball. All we need is one first down, and we should be able to say bye-bye to the Gamecocks. Another hand of. Here we go. Read the hole. Read the gap. Oh, my God. The fight. He just wants it more, man. It's definitely game over now. Let's go, Corey Jackson. Finally, Coach Sausage, we have something of value. The SEC Championship, and now we're going to be moving on to the college football playoff. I cannot wait, man. It's been way too many years. Malik finishes third in the Heisman. Dude, uh, it's going to be so difficult for us to win the Heisman this video. I hope it happens, but uh, I'm not so certain. Playoff, we were playing Notre Dame. I, didn't we play them last year in a bowl game? I think we did, so a little bit of bad blood there, but we can beat the Leprechauns. Wonderful stat, lads. Whoops, seven points, and we're already back in inside the red zone so things are trending up oh it's a keeper no it's a gift i always mess that up i just i'm not very smart with words man i'm an idiot now what i was hoping to see and i just remembered that his name is marcel not malik so i feel like an idiot but marcel we just need to score a touch right here man see there we go they were like dry humping each other but either way we got the touchdown so that's all that matters tied at 28 marcel it's your time to shine bro chacho you got this man i believe in you marcel i really want to throw x i don't think it's smart just run marcel Spin. Oh my god, Marcel Reed! Oh, that's for sure field goal rage now. Let's go, Marcel! Yeah, man, that was really cool. I wish I could spin like a ballerina. Field goal is gonna be ice, but honestly, I'm not worried, dude. Marcel got us in a great spot. Oh, that's gonna go right through, is that? Yeah, you can see the arrow. It's so helpful. Yeah, it's gonna be a I, I don't know why I said touchdown. I'm not very good at speaking English. Let's go, boys. Out of the netty. Yeah, well, I mean, we all knew this would happen, dude. We're playing Ohio State. They're undefeated. I feel confident, though, Coach Sashes. We got this. We cannot let them score first right here, man. Oh, I missed the tackle. Oh, no. Oh, no! They scored first. Oh my goodness, dude. We turned things around. We're up seven points. Aiming the ball inside the red zone. So defense is playing good. Offense is playing good. We're about to score a touch right here too. See, I just call my shots, man. You know what? I'm like MJ. Actually, I'm not. But that'd be kind of cool if I was. This is our chance, guys, to put the nail in the coffin and get our first national title for Coach Sausage. Come on, Marcel. Be smart here. It's a keeper. Marcel, we're still reading your big, strong, fast, man. Let's go, man. National title. Finally, we're doing something of value. Let's go. What? Where's the trophy celebration? Oh, come on. I wanted to see Coach Saucers hoist up the national title, man. Well, good thing for us is I'm sure we'll get plenty more of this video, but either way, we got the national title, so it is what it is. We only have one guy leaving us early, which is a really good sign for next year's team. Fitzgerald Draper, good luck in the NFL, man. We do have Koa Hicklin transferring, but he's only 73 overall, so not too big of a loss. And then we got four guys staying for another extra year, so really, really happy about that. Vita Turner is going to be our quarterback next year, so I'm excited to see what he can do. As for the graduates, they're getting drafted. Marcel Reed, which is a stud, only his one year starting as well. And then Bravian Rogers. The white cornerback's gonna get drafted. The rest of you guys are gonna go off to the NFL, do some big things. Best of luck to all of you. We only have four other guys getting drafted. You know, you guys were good here for us. You did your part, and you won a national title too in the end. So nice little happy ending for you. You guys have already seen the recruiting class, and we didn't sign anybody new on signing day. So I'm just gonna go through the top guys. Got Joshua Gibbs, Alicia Allen, only 5'9, but he's still very good at corner. Chris Austin the third, Martavius Moore, Tony Johnson. So I think that's 580 plus overall. So yeah, just a really good class. For once, the number one class of the nation. We finished number one in the country in recruiting and on the field performance so good job coach sausage there's like a newfound joy when it comes to the facility man like all these guys are looking forward to playing football this season this team is incredibly good oh my god yeah it's a lot better than i even thought holy squirrels yeah this team's gonna be really really good markel's gonna be our quarterback i really thought it'd be vita but once again this guy just does not improve in the offseason i don't know what he does man but he just does not get that much better he goes like plus two every offseason dude like i thought he'd be the starter two times in a row and both times he got benched for somebody else Else. And for us on defense, you have a crazy good middle linebacker dude. Start with Kevin Lee and then also Dean Hilliard, 6'5", 250, 6'3", 253, just two big struck men. Would not want to get tackled by these two Goliaths. Preseason AP polls, we're sitting at number one, Penn State, Ohio State. Oh, UCLA's really good. Holy, 99's across the board. Texas are really good. Like, it looks like, yeah, oh, South Carolina's down here. So, pretty interesting stuff, dude. Our is going to be loaded again. It's going to be very, very difficult for us to win another national title, but that's how it should be. 7-0, Coach Sausage. This is what we want to see, 
team he had four. Now in the SEC, really good points for it. Looks like our offense has been really, really dominant. So let's just keep on keeping on. Barely beat Navy by three. Do not like seeing that, but we beat Baylor, Old Dominion. Barely beat South Carolina. Oh my God, dude, our schedule's putrid. We've played nobody of substance. Yeah, I don't like seeing that at all, but I mean, at least we won all of our games so far. I hope recruiting's like this for the rest of the video, dude. Just like this year and last year, we basically have our entire recruiting board finished. We only have one guy left, Kai Smithberg. Really want to try and land him. He's a five-star. He's really, really good. As for the guys that are committed in the class, Ross Pearson, he is a 91 overall. He's the highest overall commit this entire video so far. Really, really good. I mean, this class, dude. Ugh, look at all the linebackers. Look at all the good players at football. I just love it, dude. The only thing I could have worried about is the quarterback position, but I'm pretty sure that Julian Jackson's really solid. 6'4", 241 from Talladega, Alabama. That looks the exact same as Talladega Nights, like that movie with Ricky Bobby and Will Ferrell. That movie's funny. Dude, it's raining at LSU again, man. Is it only raining in Louisiana? I don't know, dude. I've never been down there before. It's kind of scary because, like, you know, the, the ocean and stuff. I don't like being close to the ocean. I'm scared of hurricanes. Dreadful start for us, dude. We're down seven points, so they already have the ball back at the goal line. I don't know what the issue is so far today. We just need to fix it, stat. Um, I, I don't really don't know what to... Oh, I got clicked off. Not good. Not good. Not... I knew it, man. I just freaking knew it. We decided to somewhat wake up, but we're still down 11 points. Come on, defense. I don't know why I said defense. Come on, offense. Can I just run? Oh my god, he's so fast. This is right. You get don't threat corner back. Let me go. Get you at me kill. All right, man. We need to stop right here. We got a 10 point lead in the fourth quarter. Things have turned around for the best for us. Now we just need to capitalize and put this game away. Come on, defense. Throw some stupid quarterback. I know your name is Snyder. You sicky poo, man. I love the aggression. The defense really stepped up, especially the offense too, bro. Like, we turned this game around 180 completely. Let's go, man. Great W. Finished undefeated 12-0, and 0, so we have a chance of 15-0 this season. That would really help us out because I need to get five of those in this video. I do not know if that's going to happen. I'm very, very worried about it, but our offense was just incredible. Our defense is pretty solid too. Just a really good regular season. Beat all Miss by 14, and then you look at our offense, bro. 50, 45, 41. You got 52 up here. Like, offense is just so good. Take on Tennessee. Mr. Racky Top in the SEC Championship. Coach Sausage, I'm not really worried, man. I love Tennessee, though, for vacation. They got cool go-karts and stuff like that. Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and all those places. So that's a nice place to go. But I don't care. We're coming for blood today, boys. Let's go get a dub. Most game in the second quarter. We're tied at seven. So it looks like Tennessee is not just going to let us spank them, which is unfortunate. Oh, uh, what did they do? What kind of yucky defense is that? It's going to be a touchdown. Karate! Fight! Yes, sir, dude. j Lown. We're still up. We're up four points in the fourth quarter. Honestly, I think if we just score a touch right here, I think it could be game over. We'll see. Touchdown. What are we doing? What kind of defense was that? Let's go, Malik. All right, defense. Can this stop? It'll be GG's. Here we go, guys. It's time for us to flex our muscles and show them who's Papa. Get a stop here, boys. Oh, no way, right? Pick. Yes, the source. Let's go, bitch. Okay, it doesn't even matter if we don't get six, even though we probably should have. Let's go, man. Another SEC championship. There it is again, Coach Sausage. Back to back. Now, the goal is to go back to back in the national title game, which I think we can because Malik is just way too good, bro. He's got confidence. He's got swagger. He has dreads. He has everything you want in a really good quarterback. CFP, we're taking on Boise State. Did not expect to see the Broncos, that's for sure. But, I mean, they're 13-0. They're definitely good. It's not a team I really play that much in these videos, so I can't wait for it. Maliki Kiki. Oh, it's touchdown. Yep. See, it's just too easy, man. I saw that coming from a mile away. j -Vow. Good job, boys. Good start. They scored. Do not like seeing that at all, but Markel, dude, I'm sorry. I keep calling you Malik. Like, I am so bad with names. It's ridiculous. R1. Oh, that's gonna be touching, isn't it? Markel is just a point maker, man. Kendall Harrison, that's a former five-star. Let's go, boys. We are just spanking them, dude. Up 25 points. Markel's playing great. The defense is doing their thing. I'm gonna try and score again right here and just put this game away for sure. I don't know why Vita Turner's 23, but I kind of like it, dude. I'm a big MJ fan. Vita! Let's go, baby case. Touchdown. GG's in the chat. Moving on to the netty. The Buckeyes took down USC. Was not even close, dude. We need to go out there and just spank them, man. I hate Ohio State with a living, breathing passion, so show no mercy, boys. It has been an absolute defensive dogfight, man. Man, three to nothing. It's almost halftime. I really hope they miss this kick, but I, I just doubt it's going to happen. Nah, he's going to make it, isn't he? Yeah. Dang, all right. Well, it's tied up. Our offense is figured out, but the defense is playing great. We legitimately just cannot move the ball, man. Like, we have scored three points. It's almost the fourth quarter, Markel. What's been going on, dude? We need to convert this fourth down. We need to score a touchdown. It needs to happen. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, there's our touchdown, boys. We need to get back in this game. We're only down seven points. Offense, step it up. We clawed back to get back in this game. We're only down three points. Markel, touch right here. Let's get the game winner. Come on, Markel. Time's winding down. Just run. You're so fast. This is why I get don't threat quarterbacks. He wants it more, man. Let's go. Defense, do not get mossed, okay? Just put all the giraffes back there. Let's swat the ball down and come away with a W. Not get mossed. Just run backwards. If we can get a sack, that would be cool. No, okay. Just don't get mossed. Pick. Please. 
Or something good. Yes, let's go! Coach Sausage, there we go, man. Second national title. the first time seen him actually hoist up the natty. So that's beautiful to see. I love seeing that. We knew that was going to happen, Markel. We barely knew you, man. But you were a stud here. And the rest of the guys, all young as well. So Coach Sausage is going to have to keep recruiting really, really good players. Like 20 plus per cycle. Because every single year, there's going to be a lot of guys leaving early. So it's unfortunate, but good for them. As for the guys staying, it's a lot more than I anticipated. The team next year, it's going to be good, man. Like every other year for the rest of this video, the team's probably going to be insane. It's just a matter of going out there are not losing games because that is something we struggle with early on in this video that's for sure then for the guys going out of the nfl draft our backup quarterback's gonna be a first round pick that's <laughs> pretty bizarre but the team was really really good so we have a lot of draft picks but you guys won two national titles here you guys were part of the turnaround so i thank you for your service we only have three guys that are graduating they're not gonna get drafted i mean they're all 90 plus overall players so it's pretty confusing especially the tight ends because tight ends are incredibly difficult to find in this game and they're both really really good ones so very surprised they're not gonna get drafted sunny day in this class is bonkers do we ended up picking up Kai Smithberg. I told you guys we would. I was very confident on that. He's the only guy left on the board. So we just put all 15,000 points in there. But this class is just so good. But this is what we need to do, Coach Sausage. We need to sign at least 20 guys per cycle because we're always going to have guys leaving early. So that's the chestnut checkers big brain move that we're going to have to keep on doing. Ross Pearson is just so good at football. Anthony Reed, like, look at this defensive hall, man. We got 88, 91, 86, 84, 83, 83. Like, just so many good players, man. And then we got two athletes, Trey Ferris the second and Luke Hughes. One of these two guys are going to be really good at quarterback. So I'm excited to to see which one is better but i'm sure they're both gonna be good number two bro what did all oh, the duckies dude they got four five stars and 14 for just bonkers dude congratulations to them but either way i think we had the better class we did a better job scouting that's just my personal belief i'm just gonna stick to it coach sausage man once again we have an incredible team there's a lot of talent on this football team man holy hell i don't know how it compares to the team last year i know the team last year had like 399 overalls we only have one so team last year is probably better but this team is still yoked nathan edling is gonna be our quarterback he's waited his turn he's not as fast as the previous guys so that kind of makes me a little upset but he's still a good quarterback i'm sure i'll do fine Deion hilliard is going to be the spearhead of the defense he's the best player on the team 6'5, 253 just an absolute monster that we have lavelle fuller rushing the pass with 82 speed he's only 6'1, 222 pounds so i don't quite know how that happens but he has 99 excel yeah okay that makes a lot more sense this guy is ridiculous in the rebuilding at community college until instantly dynasty ended somebody told me to check out the toughest places to play and it's like seven years in so i figured it'd be a good time for it we're number two Ohio State is a 21 game home winning streak dude I might schedule them in the out of conference next season if they still are at 21 so we can beat them on the road and uh, snatch that win streak because I don't know how much longer we can hold on to ours man the SEC schedules are insane ah uh huh five and four what am I looking at right now I maybe my contacts are not incorrectly I don't no, I refuse to believe this is what I'm seeing right now. Started hot, then we lost to Baylor, and we got killed by Georgia. All right. Beat Arkansas, beat Mississippi State, lost to Auburn by 14, beat LSU, and then we got cracked by uh, Ole Miss. So uh, the defense has been absolutely miserable this year, which is just not, it doesn't make any sense. It does not add up, man. The math is not mathing. Some more sad news is on the recruiting trail, dude. Like, we're in so many battles right now, and as you guys know, we do not want to be in a lot of battles because the likelihood of us winning all these battles is not very high, man. So yeah, recruiting, not going great. On-field performance, not going great, man. It's not a good situation. For the guys we have committed, like they're all good. It's not that issue. The issue is, like I said, the depth. Like there's just not enough commitments in the class. Like I want to sign at least 20 per cycle. And right now we have, what, three, six, nine guys signed. That's just, or committed, I should say. It's just not enough. Playing Texas this week on the road. They're a really good team. They're somehow eight and one, but they're ranked like 13th or like double digits in the country. It just doesn't make any sense. They're definitely better than that. So this is going to be a challenge. Strong start, we're up seven points. They were at the goal line, so really good opportunity for us to get a touchdown. Is this gonna be a touchdown? That's the question. Oh, yes. Oh, it, no wonder we suck, dude. He's a southpaw. It's all starting to make sense now. I should have known it wasn't gonna be a blog, dude. That's my fault for expecting good things out of this team. We're five and four. I still can't. Oh, they faked it. Oh, my god. That was so idiotic, dude. Oh, my goodness gracious. Sarkeesian, I don't know what you're doing, bro, Chacho, but I'll take it, man. Thank you. And now we are blowing them out. I don't know where this performance has been all year long, guys, but it has been lacking. Touch right here, though, and I think it's for sure. GG's in the chat. There we go. Lots of yards. Oh, that's touchdown. Let's go, dude. I don't know why we couldn't play this all year long, dude. Like, it would have alleviated a lot of stress for me. I just want to forget this season ever happened. Finish seven and five, dude. Seven and five after finishing what? Well, we've been 29 and one the last two years, and this year we 
to lose five games. I just cannot get over it, dude. It pisses me off so much. Yeah, Alabama giving up 49 points. I mean, just too many points given up. I don't know what the problem was with the defense this season. Like, the defense, I thought would carry the offense, to be honest with you. And no, the offense was all right. Just the defense was putrid. Nathan, I'll tell you what, dude. I feel like a jerk. At first glance, I thought it was definitely your fault, but there's no doubt about it. He finished fifth in the Heisman rankings, and the team was 7-5. and five. So there should be no debate. The defense this season was just horrific, dude. It needs to be better. We need to fire the DC. Whoever it is, it needs to be fired. Tax Act, Texas Bowl. Nobody likes taxes, so I'm not going to play this game. Guys, we're playing Iowa State, dude. Like, I know we were awful this season, but we got to just obliterate them, you'd think, right? And we do just that. We still gave it 21 points. I'd like to see a little zero next to Iowa State, but regardless, there's no, yeah, there's no silver lining. I was going to try and be optimistic Oscar for a second. No, there's nothing optimistic about this, dude. We were awful. Three guys leaving us early, and none of them are going to be first round picks, so it definitely sucks because the first round picks could help us out for this video, and they're leaving the program as well, so that's just a double whammy. We do have Corey Longa transferring, though. Do not like seeing that. 80 overall freshman middle linebacker. It's a shot to the heart, man. No doubt about it. We do have a shocking amount of really good players staying for another season, including KJ Connor and Kendall Harrison, both 97 and 98 overall. Like, goodness gracious, dude. I don't blame them, though, man. Like, their college career was about to cap off with a, what, 8-5 and five season? Yeah, dude, yuck. As for the guys graduating, go to the draft. There's a lot of them, dude. These guys were all very, very good players. For whatever reason, you know, on the field, it just did not translate, especially on defense, man. I just still do not understand it, man. Like, our two best players were defensive players, Deion Hilliard and also Lavelle Fuller. Like, there was no weaknesses on defense overall-wise. I don't know what the problem was, man. scooby the mystery. That's for sure. And there's only one guy graduating that's not gonna get drafted, Jamie Gilmore. I feel bad for you, dude. I'm sure you'll do great things in life, though. Keep your head up, stud. I hate this so much, dude. These signing days always suck. I don't know what the problem was this year. We just couldn't close on most of these guys, so we're not going after most of them. Only three guys. Dylan Johnson, Corey Sims, David Dawkins. I really hope we get all three, but I'll be completely honest. It would not shock me if we do not get all three. We're trailing by a thousand points for each one of them, so it's gonna be very, very challenging. Thank God we got all three guys. If we did not, oh my God, this class would have been really, really, really bad, so I'm really happy we got all three of these cats. So this is the signing class. Only 12 guys. You know, we definitely lacked the depth. I was kind of worried about that, but honestly, with not that many guys leaving early for the draft, I think we should be fine depth-wise, so I'm really happy about that, and there's plenty of quality, as you guys can see. So many studs, man. Cameron Line, just so good, dude. He's from Texas, too. Had to keep him in state. Same with David Dawkins. Had to keep him home. He's really good. Craig Carter's from Ohio. 6'8", 318. Good God. Timothy Jamison, Dylan Johnson. Just, there's a lot of talent in this class. Oh, my God. Texas, five five stars, dude. Ugh, we're gonna have to compete with them, dude. Them being in the SEC is just, ugh, so annoying, but still a really good class. You know, second in the country. Two five stars, 11 four stars. I'm still really happy with their haul. Training results are in, and I hope you guys are all pissed off, and you guys train really hard this offseason. I do also hope that you guys drink plenty of water because you do not want to get kidney stones. Those things are terrifying. One of my biggest fears in life is kidney stones. It's not even close. It's up there with Corella DeVille in the dark, but yeah, really good team regardless, and I think we could do a lot of special things this year. It's just, it's all about us playing up to our potential because our potential is 15-0 national champs. There's no doubt about that. Trey Ferris is second. It's going to be our quarterback this year. 6'2", 240, 81 speed, 87 acceleration. There's no doubt this guy's got the talent. He's only 90 overall, which is like one of the lowest overalls I think we've had starting a quarterback this video, but I'm honestly not worried about him. I'm more worried about the defense, too, after how horrible they were last year. That's what concerns me the most. Luckily, though, he has an insane running back duo to count on, dude. Lawrence Walker, 6'2", 37, 99 overall, 97 speed, and then Kendall Harrison, 6'1", 226, 89 speed. Like, all we need to do is just feed these two beasts. It's as simple as that, and we will win a lot of games. Dang it, man, 11-1. I mean, the bright side is we're finally back to where we should be. 11-12 wins in the regular season every single season, so. And we won the SEC West as well, too, so that's nice. Started the season hot, beating UCLA at home. Top 10 team there. Any close games? Oh, yeah, not really until we lost to Ole Miss. Man, again, after what happened last year, it's just disappointing. Oh, only beat Bama by five, but they're really good, so I expected that game to be a dogfight. Only got one guy left on our recruiting board, Kenny Dangerfield. Such a sweet last name. It's like a last name of, like, a superhero or something like that. Dangerfield, yeah. I think I'm onto something there, but we should be able to get in the offseason. We'll put all 15,000 points into him. He'll be an Aggie. As for the commits of the class, we only have four guys that are above an 80 overall, which is pretty concerning. I thought it was more than that, but I mean, there's a lot of high 70 overall guys, so it's not like we recruited that horribly. I mean, our lowest overall commit is a 70 down here, but I mean, we got 73, 74s. Like, these 73, 74s are going to turn into like 94s by their senior season, so they're still going to be really, really good players. It's just they're not going to be like elite 99 overall. You know what I mean? I just watched Josh Pate's late kick show on YouTube, and he has Penn State and Ohio State making the playoff, but not Michigan. So I'm pissed off right now, dude. We need to go win this game. We need to spank Oklahoma, make Tanner a lot happier. I mean, Lawrence Walker's a beast, dude. Look at how big he is. Number 24. There's no way he's going to be denied a touch around here. Yeah, what kind of yucky defense was that? Just way too easy. Good start, guys. Domination so far. Up 14 points, and we're inside the red zone, so we can extend this to 21 right here if we play our cards right. Come on, Trey Ferris to second. 
Oh, he's a second. That means his daddy's the first, right? Oh, yeah. This is way too easy, man. He's making his papa proud. Well, the Sooners battled back. Don't really like seeing that, to be honest with you. I thought this game would be a lot easier than this, but if we just get a first area here, I think it's for sure Sayonara. There's, like, no chance this does not work, dude. Trace fast. Oh, yeah. See, I told you, dude. Can this be a touchdown? That would be kind of cool. What was that? I don't know what move I just did right there, but it was really cool. I need to do that more. That's going to be GG's, though. We're going to win ourselves. What's that? Their third uh, SEC championship? Yeah, I think it's our third. Maybe our fourth. I don't know. Just confirm, Coach Sausage, that is our third SEC championship for this video. It should be four in a row right now, but last year we decided to lay an egg. I still don't know exactly what happened that year. It's still up in the air for debate. I'm just getting teased at this point, dude. Trey finished in third place. I think next year. Yeah, he's a sophomore, so he can get it next year. That might be our best hope this video. We'll see, man, but I don't know, man. It's going to be very challenging to get a Heisman for whatever reason. I, I I never can get one, so we'll see. Playoff time. We got Ohio State in the first round. We own them at this point. We're 2 0 against them. I feel like we can go 3 0 right here. There's like a million slants on the field. I hope this works. We'll see. Oh, it will work. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta believe in the system, Coach Sausage. Let's go, boys. Good start. This is a perfect performance so far, dude. We're up 11 points, and we're back at the goal line. I want this to be a blowout, dude. No regard for human life, man. No regard for human life. Let's go. I was honestly hoping for a little bit more of a blowout, not gonna lie. Really wanted to win by, like, 50 points, but that is not gonna happen. But if we do get a first center here, it's definitely over. Can't, oh, it's easy. Yeah. Dude, that trap is so effective. Oh, I love the spin move. It's so much fun to be a ballerina. Good job, Lawrence. That's game over. Really thought that Bama would be the team that we're gonna take on, but no, dude. The Nittany Lions, they beat them. They're 14 0 too, so they're clearly a very good team. This is not going to be easy, guys, but I feel confident. They drove all the way down the field, but at least they're settling for a field goal. I mean, the ball's there at the one yard line. Kind of shocked they're not going for it, but it is a CPU and they do have the lead, so either way, whatever. Oh my goodness, guys, down 17 the second quarter. The offense apparently cannot move the ball right now. We need to change it here. Stat. Love read options. So fun and effective. Is it a giver? It's a keeper. Trey! He's too fast, man. All right, we finally scored offense. Still down 10, so it's going to take a big comeback, guys. This is the fight I wanted to see, guys. We're only down three points, and we're at the goal line. We just need to punch it in right here. Quarterback wrap's kind of a fun play. You got people running around. You got counters and stuff. This is, yeah, it's going to be a touchdown. Yeah, Trey Ferris. Just too fast, man. Let's go. All right, defense. Let's get stuck. Please. Please pick. pick. Yes, let's go! Okay, yes. Oh, that was beautiful. Spin? Okay, spin was ineffective right there, but all we need is one first down, and we will have ourselves our third straight, or not third straight, because last year happened. I forgot about that. Our third national title, though. Is this it? Is this it? Yes, it is! Oh, my God! That's called the weight room. Let's go, Lawrence. Goodness gracious, dude. After the last year's disaster, Coach Sausage, we're back on top of college football. This should be a 4 P right now, but I keep talking about it last year. Let's just forget what happened, okay? This is a 3 P in my eyes, baby. Let's go, boys. Good job. Only got one guy declaring early. Malachi White. It's definitely going to be a big loss because he would have been like a 99 overall next year, but have fun in the NFL, Malachi. Kobe Jernigan is transferring, though. Not really the end of the world. I mean, I'd like to keep all the 6-6 six, six guys on our team that we possibly could, but he's on to greater pastures, and it appears we have a crack a ton of guys staying for another season, dude. So happy you guys did not decide to go to the draft, especially my punter. I hate when punters leave us early, dude. Drake Bedell, thank you for staying for another season. But yeah, the team next year is going to be returning a lot of dudes, which I love seeing. And then every single graduate's going to get drafted. You guys went three natties here. You guys did a lot, man. Now you're going to go make some moolah in the NFL. Best of luck. You guys will do great, I'm sure. Sunny Day has arrived, and we got Mr. Dangerfield, the superhero in the class. It looks solid. Like, it's not one of the best classes we've signed so far in this video, but this class is not a slouch class either. Like, this class will be good in the future. We just got some developmental guys. We signed 16 too, which is a pretty decent amount. So all in all, pretty happy with it. But Michael Hurst is a stud from right here in Texas. Also, you guys know about the superhero, Kenny Dangerfield, Jamal Joseph right here. Another 5'9 cornerback, Derek Burchett. He looks really good from Oklahoma. John Tiggle. <laughs> That's a cool last name. He's very good as well. Number two again. Well, oh my gosh, dude. Alabama. Yeah, so annoying, dude. We're going to get number one again. I don't even, Have we gotten number one once this video? I think we've gotten it once, but we've gotten number two like three times this video, dude. It's kind of ridiculous, but we signed the most five stars in the country, so that's nice. Oh, Michael, you sexy stud muffin. He's a 95 overall quarterback. There's no doubt about it, dude. He can play other positions as well, like maybe running back but or receiver, but he, no, he is playing quarterback. This guy is going to be an absolute star here. Team's bonkers, dude. You look down, the lowest overall in the first row is a 97. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the team's bonkers, bro. I think the thing that I've been most surprised about so far this video is the amount of guys that stay every single season. Like, not that many guys are leaving us early, which I was kind of shocked by, but honestly, man, I love it. I'm all for it. I might change the rules and make like every single person that declares like let them declare instead of like being able to convince the guys that are projected to go later in the draft come back for another year so I don't know yet I might change my mind we'll see but Trey's back a quarterback for us again dude he was so good last year Trey you probably are gonna have one of the best chances this entire video to win the Heisman so dude go out there and please do it for me I need you to ball out the best position group on our team though is probably the defensive tackle room we got Samson 
Lacey, the guy from the, the Bible. I think Samson's really strong. I said that earlier. Ross Pearson, I remember recruiting this guy. He was a monster. Also got Caleb Lambert down here. Like the defensive tackle room is so much depth. This guy's 6'4", 264, 6'8", 290, and 6'9", 282. Oh my gosh. We have a couple woolly mammoths that aren't even going to play for us, dude. Like our defensive tackle room is just so good. SEC West predictions, of course, for number one. Bama's really good. That's going to be a scary game at the end of the season. Oh my goodness, dude. Texas is good too. Mississippi State fell off a cliff. 77 overall just yuck lsu's falling off so is arkansas i mean arkansas has been decent but they've beaten us a lot this video auburn's okay so honestly i kind of expect texas and alabama to be our biggest competition but we'll see maybe we'll have another season where we go eight and five i really couldn't tell you it might be one of those years huh man one and one i don't want to talk about it beat utah state by 32 but kentucky really at home too we lost by seven that defense gave up 38 points man i'm getting deja vu i'm getting flashbacks from two years ago i do not like this guys it might only be week two or week three but coach sausage has been working on the trail dude look at all these commits we already have this guy is six foot 259 dear god would not want to tackle him my goodness dude some of these guys are just so lucky genetically dude like how can you be six foot 259 as a running back like that just should not even be allowed dude but this recruiting class it's starting off very very hot it's early on too so i'm really loving what i'm seeing i think this is gonna be the real test i know this might sound a little odd but like the season where we went eight and five two years ago we lost to baylor in the non-conference so if we lose this game i think it's pretty obvious this season's gonna be very very dark for us and for this must win game against Baylor. Uh, we have a lot of guys visiting too. I'm pretty sure this is a rivalry, like an old rivalry or something. It says it's a rivalry on the like schedule thingy, so it's an important game. We need to go out there and win it. We're already up seven points, and it's only the first quarter, so we're doing good so far. Come on, Trey. Let's see what you're all about. Oh, it's gonna be a touchdown for Trey Ferris. I don't how do we lose with Trey Ferris a quarterback, man? Especially against Kentucky. I just don't get it, man. Let's blow out Baylor. We haven't really separated the way I wanted to. I mean, we're still at 15, but I was really hoping we'd be up like 30 at this point, but it is what it is. We got this Trey. It's a give. It's a give. That's just too easy, man. The read option is so lethal with a fast quarterback and a good running back man it's just unstoppable yep this is exactly what we need just touch right here and it's definitely ggs touch shot just horrible yucky defense man but i don't really care helps us out that's a w pretty underwhelming we only had two guys commit but one of them is mickey king a five-star offensive tackle then sam mcgow another guy like how are these running backs so big like 238 pounds 5'9 like goodness gracious man dang it dude alabama got revenge if you guys don't remember last year i'm pretty sure we were the reason why they did not win the sec yeah they were the four seed in the playoffs so they got revenge this season that sucks man really dominant after that baylor win huh now nah, lsu only beat them by three we dominated Ole miss which is good to see Texas as well and then yeah lost to Bama by five on the road definitely sucks man i don't think there's any chance we can make the cfp which is just heartbreaking luckily though recruiting's got incredibly well dude we already have a full 25 man class like that's just ridiculous dude i could knock it over like i'm just so proud of what we put together on the trail there's a lot of talent and there's a lot of depth in this class now is there a bunch of like 90 overalls no the highest overall guy we have is anthony wang he's an 88 but who knows maybe we'll move in wide receiver and he'll be a 95 or something we saw that last year so that'd be nice to see again i was willing to play this bowl game if we played somebody like fun or new but i'm pretty sure we played louisville earlier in this video and i just do not see this game being close i'm sure they're over Overall is like pretty low, so this is probably gonna be a butt whooping at least. Whoa, okay, then only one by one. Looks like I slept on the birdies, but either way, we finished with the Chick fil A Peach Bowl to end the season. Yeah, I think from now on to make things, I don't even know if you'd say interesting. I mean, I'm just gonna keep everybody declaring. I'm not gonna try and convince them because there are guys that stay on their own, so I think that's the most fair. But look at the guys that are, of course, a kicker's leaving us early, dude. But we have a boatload of, yeah, Trey Ferris has gone and kind of figured that. We have a boatload of early first round picks, so best of luck to all you guys. I mean, we do have a decent amount of guys staying, which is nice, but not nearly as many guys that are leaving. Like, Jillian Jackson's coming back. He'll probably be the quarterback for us. I'm excited to see what he can do. He's a bowling ball, dude. 6'4", 244. My God. Some more first-round picks, too. Samson's going to get drafted. Jared Vaughn Jr., Jacarthy Brown. Just a lot of talented guys that are graduating, going off the NFL. Our punter's going to get drafted, too. Good for you, Drake Bedell. But only two guys graduating that will not get drafted. Sucks for you, too, but I'm sure you guys will do awesome things in life. You guys have already seen the class. I'm just going to highlight some guys. Anthony Wang, Luke Amon is really good. Michael Lang. I can knock it over that kid, dude. Jack Boswell, uh, Cody Morgan. Like, there's a lot of good players in this class. That much is obvious. Number one in the country. I kind of figured that would happen. Signed 14 four stars. Georgia just went off, dude. Five five stars. Good for them. But I think it also helps that we signed 25 guys. They only signed 22. So that kind of also gave us the leg up. Looking at the team, I don't think it's one of the best teams we've had this video. No, it definitely is not. It's probably one of the worst teams we've had for the last like three or four years. But it's still the best roster in college football. Like, no, I can guarantee you no CPU team comes even close to this team. But it's not about that, bro. It's about on-field performance. And last year, we lost two games. The one 
against Kentucky, that just cannot happen again. I get the Alabama loss, but Kentucky, dude, just no. Michael Hurst is going to be the quarterback. I thought it was going to be Julian Jackson, but I completely forgot about this kid, dude. I don't know how I could, though. 89 speed. He's from right here in Texas. Hometown kid. 99 acceleration. He's just so good, dude. He's going to be an absolute stud. And we have an insane linebacker, like, trio, dude. Cameron Line, McKenro Lynn, also, bro. 99 overall, 97. And then we got this cat, Evan Spector, at right outside linebacker. 97 overall, like these three guys. In the middle of the defense, have to just be the most terrifying humans to ever see, man. Oh, it's going to be so great on defense. The defense should carry the offense this year, but I don't know, though, because I think Michael Hurst is going to be really, really good. So I'm excited to see what this team does. Undefeated start for us, 8 no 5 in the SEC. I mean, our points for is really good. So obviously, the offense is probably even carrying the weight. Yeah, dude, our defense has not been nearly as good. Oh, my God, look at Ole Miss's defense, dude. That's ridiculous. Start off pretty hot. Any close games at all? Oh, Middle Tennessee State was our closest game this season. We're all to confusing place, man. But the rest of the games, I mean, our offense, as you guys know, like, it's been dominant, dude. Defense has been kind of eh. Especially against Middle Tennessee State and also uh, Arkansas. Just not good enough there. But outside of that, the defense has been pretty solid. For recruiting, there's only six guys left on our board. And I can't imagine we don't get at least four of the six guys. So, very happy about that. I think we did a great job recruiting this cycle. For the guys committed, though, there's not as much quality. Like, the highest overall is an 85. But there is a ton of 80-plus overall guys. So, really happy about that. A lot of 75-plus overall. I mean, the lowest overall guys is 71. So, Kevin Marshall, he's only a three-star. But he's still decent. We got Ole Miss at home. As you guys know, their defense is absolutely insane. Even though it's only a 93 overall. They're also number two in the country. I mean, this game on paper shouldn't be close. But I think it probably will be a dogfight. We are struggling. That is for sure. Defense. Defense, please just try and stop him right here somehow. Get back there. Just kill him! Oh, I, I missed it. Dang it, dude. I was hoping for a shoestring tackle. Definitely doesn't help that Michael's hurt at quarterbacks who are backups in, but there's no reason they should have 28 points right now, guys. Come on, defense. Come on, Tanner. Just run, Julian. You're fast, too. You got dull threat. He's a so sad, man. God dang it, dude. Uh man. I do not know how we are in this situation, but all we need to do is make this field goal and we somehow win this game. I'm just glad that we came back and decided to start playing some decent football. Just make the kick tan, man. Not even ice, baby cakes. I know our kicker sucks. He's a walk-up, but he makes it. One second left, though. I'm just going to squib kick it to like a fullback and hope that he like trips over his own feet or something. Okay, that's definitely not a fullback. Please do not return it for six. Thank you. Okay. We escaped that hole over Ole Miss. That was uh, crazy. I don't know how we won that game. I, I just thought for sure we'd lose, especially after Julian fumbled in the end zone, but we managed to pull it out somehow. Finally, back to a perfect season. 12-0 in the regular season. 9-0 in the conference. I mean, our offense, dude. Just so freaking good. This is exactly what we need, though, guys. So you keep doing this. End of the season, really strong. Obliterated Texas by 30. We beat Alabama by 7. Then, oh my goodness, yeah. Missouri's 2-10. They suck. For recruiting, there's only one guy on our board that is not committed yet. A Louis Wirtz, but we'll definitely get him in the off season. For the guys committed though, you guys have already seen most of these cats. I mean, they're not many like 88 overalls, but there's a bunch of 80 pluses, a bunch of 75 plus overalls. So I think we did a really good job this cycle, especially considering we signed 20 guys. So lots of quality, lots of depth. I mean, top to bottom, just a good class. SEC championship game against Georgia. They're number two in the country. So this is going to be an absolute war, man. They got them the field pretty easily, but they're settling for a field goal though, which I think is a W in my book. Because I thought for sure they were going to get seven. So we got the lead, but they're back at the goal line. So guys, we need to hanker down again right here. Come on, boys. Do not let them score a touchdown. Okay, they're passing. Defense, defense, defense. No, good throw. Dang it. What has happened, guys? The offense has been so buns, bro. We're down nine points. There's barely any time left in the fourth quarter. Like, this is not a good situation at all. Come on, Michael. You've sucked all game, but right here, I need you to step up, bro. Chacho, touchdown. Get in there. Fight! Let's go. Okay. Defense, let's get a stop. Oh, I don't like this, dude. We cannot get tackled before the first down marker. Or we are for sure chalked. Okay, there we go. Triangle. No. Let's coufla. The Frenchman just picked me off, dude. Yeah, that's GG's. God dang it, dude. Second place for the highest. It's the closest we've been so far this video, man. At least we're moving up, though. I mean, that's the bright side. This is like the highest. Yeah, this is the highest finish we've had in the Heisman. So at least we got that going for us. Two seed. We're playing Florida State, the Seminoles. I don't think we've... Yeah, we have not definitely played them this video. So I'm excited for this. Give her a keeper. It's a keeper. Mikel. Yep, Mikel. Too easy, baby. All right, good start, man. Florida State's probably going to take the lead right here. Yeah, they're probably going to make the field go. So just not a good spot. I don't know what's going on with the offense, man. They've just been trash. Yep, they made the field goal, so we're down three. We're up three points, but they're inside the red zone, so I do not like this for us at all. We can now let them get a touch on here, guys. That is pretty obvious. Oh, perfect play call, right? Oh, wait, no! Oh, nope, not a perfect play call. God dang it. Okay, we need a touch shot, guys. Only got 30 seconds. I'm just gonna launch it. You only live once. Michael, no! Oh, my God. <sighs> 
man, I don't know what to say. We just fell off down the stretch, dude. There's just no other way around it. I thought for sure he'd win this game, but nope, we, we lost. Well, that's the guys leaving early. Never like seeing this. I mean, there's a lot of first round picks, so at least that helps us out. But I mean, honestly, dude, sucks that we lost to the CFP semifinal to Florida State, especially how good this team was, but best of luck to you all. And then we have four guys transferred. I don't know like why. I mean, I get it. Like they're probably not going to start next year, but dude, like you guys are all going to be good by year four, year five. Just not trusting Coach Sausage's development, I guess. I don't know. Holy cow, though. It looks like we have a lot more guys staying for another season than I anticipated. So yeah, there's definitely more guys staying than leaving us early. So I love seeing that. They want to end their college career on a high note, winning a national title. I don't blame them. And then almost every single guy's going to get drafted. That David Galea. He, I don't know why he's not getting drafted, but the rest of these guys are. So best of luck in the NFL, guys. Go dominate. Number one class of the country. Only signed two five stars and 13 four stars. I'm kind of shocked that we're actually number one, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like a lot of recruits chose to go to different places this cycle, it looks like. So it definitely makes sense. 10 three stars. So 25 guys signed. I mean, it's the number one class. I can't complain with it, man. And this is our class. I mean, it's not like I need to try and get like more 90 plus overalls. For whatever reason, I haven't been able to find that many this video, which is kind of like annoying because like I can recruit four and five stars from start to finish. And I've only found like, I don't know, a couple of 90 plus overalls. This video just has not been as many as I was hoping for. Gage Federico is really good though from right here in Texas. Dustin Sweeney's really good. Ryan Burgeon. So we did a really good job recruiting defense this cycle. Ulia Wirtz, Brandon Fedja Ledebemem. I definitely got that wrong. Jake Crothers looks like a really solid quarterback for the future. So yeah, it's a good class. Okay. So since that was just year 10, I'm going to go through these goals since we're halfway through the uh, 20 year dynasty just to see where we're at. So far, we've got three national titles, three conference titles, zero Heisman Trophy winners, 37 first round picks and one 15 and 0 season. So for these next 10 seasons, we are going to have to be dominant, dude. Oh my gosh. We are way behind guys if we have any chance of getting all these goals accomplished we need you guys to pick it up dude we need to go on like a four straight natty like a four straight sec championship run like we could do it dude this team's really freaking good it's just a matter of you know us playing to our potential because if that happens no one's gonna beat us michael's back a quarterback he's definitely gonna go to the draft next year i do not expect anything else 90 speed 99 excel he's just insanely good dude please give me a heisman michael i'm just gonna highlight some 99 overalls because they're just insane and it's so difficult to get in this game because people always leave early kai smithberg's really good jacks mcdonald's 6'6 six, six center. Don't know how that exactly is possible. And then we got Sam Mitty, a 6'5 right guard, like 299 overall offensive line, but dude, like our offensive line should be insane. Preseason pulls, we are at number two. Georgia's at one. They're really stinking good. Penn State, there's a lot of A plus teams this year. So uh, it's going to be pretty competitive out there. Well, Louisville's in the top 10. What in the world? Uh, Minnesota's up here. Indiana. I mean, there's a lot of just odd things going on. California. I mean, in the dynasty video I did, though, they turned out to be a juggernaut. So I'm not really too shocked by that. But judging by all this, though, there's probably only like maybe 10 teams that could beat us this season. So we should be able to handle and take care of business on paper. But that has meant literally nothing this entire video. So we'll see. Seeing this makes me so happy, dude. 10 and 0, 7 0 in the conference. The offense has been explosive. The defense has been dominant. Everything is humming right now, boys. It's just keep on keeping on. Really just looking for any close games at all? Uh, nope, not so far. A lot of offense, though. I love seeing that. LSU, they put up 40 points against us. We only beat them by two. But outside of that, every other game was just dominant, dude. Our offense especially has been humming. And recruiting's been going phenomenal. We only have, what, four guys left on our board? And I don't know if we're going to get all four of them because we are trailing for Nick and Jerry on. But we should be able to get at least two of them. So I'm happy about that. For the commits to the class, though, there's already 21. And these guys are all very, very good at football. I'm happy with the depth in this class. You know, there's not, like, a tip-top guy. You still have yet to find like a 90 plus overall dude it's been freaking forever i need to get one of those but yeah i like the class a lot taking on alabama on the road they're only six and four so i mean they're still talented i just expect this to be a butt weapon boys all right what way too open way too easy get in there yeah that's gonna be a touch let's go okay so much for our defense dude they've sucked they've already given up 21 points it's not even the fourth quarter yet things are not looking too great on that side but the offense is doing okay mikel is that touch on? Oh, it is. Let's go. That was a beautiful throw. I was kind of worried about the linebacker, but that guy looked like a turtle. So I, I wasn't too worried. This is so annoying, dude. We're down six. We need to score a touch right here, Michael. Come on, buddy. I believe. I believe. Just run, Michael. You're so fast. Oh, my God. This is why you get dual threat quarterbacks, man. I've said it the entire video. These guys are insane. Good job, Mikel. Dude, like, we get no pass. This is ridiculous. All right. At least we have a chance to get a touchdown. Our defense is just putrid, man. I don't know what's going on in that side of the ball, but it is not very good. Uh, this is so depressing, dude. I don't know how we lost this game. Eh, please. Mossum, please. Oh, I got Michael. What kind of arm strength? Yeah. 
Oh my god, let's just pretend this never happened. God dang it, dude. Finish the season just obliterating Missouri. I still am just, I'm so sad, man. We should have beaten them. We should be undefeated right now. It's annoying. SEC title game, rematch against Georgia. Guys, we need to win this game. There is no other way around it. We cannot lose this. I do not want to lose another SEC championship, all right? It's going to be an absolute battle this game. Kind of expected that. We're tied at seven, but we're in the red zone, though. So just need to get seven here, Michael. I need you to ball out for me, brethren. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Let's go. Front hopple. I think that's how you say his last day. That's cool. I like that. Taking a field goal here before half. I'm really happy it was not a touch yet. I thought they were going to score one for sure. Thankfully, they did not. We're still going to lead at half. Only one point, but I mean, I'll tell. Oh, they shaped that. Who's their kicker? Oh, my God. We're up eight points in the fourth quarter. We're at the goal line. Honestly, it's a win-win situation. If we don't get the touchdown, we kick the field goal in the game. If we get the touchdown, we win the game. So, great spot. All about that base. No trouble. Oh, that's going to be a touchdown, isn't it? Get in there, H, with the fight, man. We just want it more. Get you out of thin. Yeah, that should be GG's. Let's go, boys. There it is, Coach Sasser's our fourth SEC title. We still need six more, and we only have, what, nine seasons if you don't count this one. So the odds are definitely not in our favor, Coach Sausage, but I got belief. Michael, let's go, man. He wins the Heisman. 2,000 total points. He's got 544 first place votes. Love seeing that. 65 touchdowns. I mean, he just had a ridiculously good season. He's a dull threat kid, so he had a lot of rushing, too. I'm just glad he didn't get hurt, because that really would have deterred his entire Heisman run, obviously. Rematch from last year's CFP semifinal. I hope the team's pissed off after last year, guys. Let's go get a dub. Of course, it's tied, dude. I really wanted to blow them out, but that is not gonna happen, unfortunately. Is that gonna be a touchdown? Oh my god. Coach Sausage takes a chance for the ditches and we score a 43-yard touchdown. Let's go. Still really a tight game, but they're gonna kick this field goal right here to get a lead, which I do not like seeing at all. Really thought our offense would be a lot better today, but so far it has not been that great. We came back and got a four-point lead. All we need to do is just not fumble right here and it's game over. Let's go, man. All right, we're out of the CFP. National title, boys. Good win. Michigan beat Utah, so we're playing them for the national title. I always hate beating them. My favorite team in these videos, but we gotta do what we gotta do, Coach Sausage. Let's go get a dub. I don't know if they're gonna fullback dive, maybe a play action. Oh, it's fullback dive. Dang it. Not great. We're down 13 points in the second quarter. We desperately need a touch right here. That is for sure. Come on, Mikael. I don't know how I feel about this, like, route combo. To be honest with you. Oh, it's going to work, is it? You know what, man? I need to believe more in the offensive system, but the defensive system, it's been trash today, man. Ooh, the defense held up the three, so we got that going for us. It's tied at 35. I mean, I'd like it if they missed. Oh, is that going to be short? Uh, oh! It's sure, let's go. Okay, all we need is three points, boys. We can win the game. Just run, Michael. Just run. Get out of there, buddy. Get out of there, scrambling monster. And slide. Let's go. All we need to do is make this kick. I know you're a walk-on, but I promise if you make this, you'll be on scholarship. And I'm sure one of the players has a girlfriend that has a very attractive friend for you to spend the night with. You guys could play checkers. Maybe some chess. Maybe eat some Swiss cheese. There we go, yes! Okay, there's still two seconds left. Game's not over yet, boys, but let's go. We're in a good spot. Kick it short, kick it short, kick it short. Two, one, yep, yep. Tackle, tackle! Oh, yeah. Let's go, yes! Coach Sausage! And with that tackle, the national title is back with Coach Sausage, our fourth in the video. I'd love to go on a run right here, man. We need to try and get like three or four of these in a row, especially the SEC championships. We are really lacking there. So let's just keep doing what we're doing, guys. Let's keep like a well-oiled machine right now. That's what it feels like. Four guys leaving early. They're all going in the first round, so that's good to see. But it's definitely unfortunate. Jamal Joseph's 99, Michael Hurst. I'm gonna miss you, man. Thank you for getting the Heisman. Then we got two cats transferring Xavier Crawford and also Rodney Wilson. Like, Xavier's really good, so it kind of sucks losing him. But Rodney, it's not really the end of the world. We do have six guys staying there, which is more than guys leaving early. So really love seeing that. Oh, danger field. The Super Heroes coming back for another season. So that's great. For the guys graduating, most of them are going to get drafted in the first round. So that's great to see. You guys got all these awards. Sam Mini, David Dawkins, Jackson McDonald. Like, they got so many awards, dude. Good for you guys. Only got two guys graduating that won't get drafted. I always hate seeing this, man. But best of luck in life, you two. Number one class of country for us. Three five stars, 13 four stars, eight three stars. I still feel like there's untapped potential for Coach Sausage. I feel like we should be able to get more four and five star recruits. But the overall is really all that matters and we still have some really good gems, so I can't complain. And this is the stellar class that we put together. It's probably one of the best recruiting classes we've had this entire video. I mean, there's a boatload of 80 plus overalls, man. So yeah, top to bottom, dude. There's so much depth and talent in this class. I'm just really thrilled with how it went. Brandon Tarantani? Yeah, Espanola, New Mexico. This guy is in the middle of nowhere. I'm glad that Coach Sausage found him. He's gonna be very, very good. Taking Kalu Luck? I definitely got that wrong. He's from right here in Texas. Really, really good. Manasseh? Dude, why are all these names so challenging? Guy for Texas too. 
Nick Carr, another guy from Texas. Like, dude, just recruit Texas at this point. Nick Mueller is really good. Training results have arrived and initial impressions. This team is definitely worse than the team last year. And I don't even think that dude, there's just no debate. Like, this team's definitely worse than the team last year. So, a little bit concerning, but it's still the best roster in college football. We're going to have to have a new quarterback, too, this season. So, it'll be really interesting. I'm excited for it. Frankie Fishin, 6'2", 231, pocket pass, early 60 speed. So, automatically, he's kind of on my bad side because he's not the fastest guy in the world. But, I mean, he's waiting his turn. He's at 94 overall. He's a junior. He's been in the system. I think he'll be solid. The position group, though, that I think we're going to lean on this season is the running back room. Jonathan Hansford, 99 overall, 93 speed, 6'1", 269. I've talked about it all video, dude. Like, what are these guys at running back? 6'2", 264, my God. Like, these two, Michael Lamb and Jonathan Hansford, are going to be a handful to tackle, bro. We just need to feed these two monsters, and I think the offense will be very, very good. Perfect regular season, 12-0. Honestly, did not anticipate seeing this, but I'm happy to see it, dude. 99 in the conference. The offense carried. I knew it would. The defense just, it's not up to par. Like, it's still a 99 defense at the top, but it's not as good as the offense. There's no doubt about that. Beat Baylor. Minnesota in the non-conference is a close game. Anything else that was closest? Mississippi State. Ooh, uh, LSU. Man, we had a lot of close games. Same score back-to-back -back weeks. So we smacked Alabama. Then we smacked Missouri to end the season. So as you guys can see, dude, the offense, it just carried. I mean, 77 points against South Carolina. It's insane. This is the well old machine I was looking for. Dude, we finally found a 90-plus overall. Roderick Williams, 91 overall. Strong safety from Owasso, Oklahoma. He had lines and insanely good class. This is pro... I don't know. Yeah, I think it is probably the best class we've had so far this video. I mean, look at all the 80 plus overalls with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh yeah, it's for sure the best class we've had so far this video. It's the number one class so far. 1, 5, star, 17, 4. That's ridiculous. Yeah, this class is going to finish number one in the country. There's no doubt about it. Taking down the Gators in the SEC championship game. They're actually like a top five team, it looks like. So they're definitely good. I think this is the first time we've played them in the SEC championship game. So some new blood for us, that's for sure. He's slow. I gotta remember this. He is not a fast person, Tater, but he's fast enough. Is that gonna be a touchdown? Get in there, Anthony Wang. Let's go, baby. Yeah, he's fast enough. He's got a little wiggle. Let's go, boys. Good start. Playing terrific so far. We're up 18 points, but the ball is at the goal line, so need to try and stop him right here, but I'm not too confident because it's literally on top of the goal line. Rank commit. Rank commit. Oh, come on. That's such a poopy way for them to score. Dang it. We're up 18 points. Things are just going so wonderful, dude. I don't think I've mentioned this, but Frankie, if any of you guys are watching and your name is Frankie, you have an awesome name. I need to tell you that because Frankie is such a sweet name, dude. Frankie! Frankie, let's go! I'm telling you, dude, Frankie's a GOAT name. He might not be the highest overall quarterback, but he controls the offense with poise, man. 16 for 19, 277, three touchdowns. This one's over, dude. Let's go. Easily the most dominant SEC championship game, and I don't even get to freaking see the celebration for it, dude. What the heck is that heebie-jeebie BS? Well, whatever, dude. At least we got another SEC championship. First round, we're playing UCLA, but look at the playoff field, dude. There's three teams that are 13-0, two of them besides us, so definitely a lot of good college football teams out there, man. It is not going to be easy to win the next this year that's for sure now frank a oh is that gonna be a touchdown for you can't be serious right now dude that is such bs i feel bad for you frankie somebody's paw hit the ball in the air and it got picked off dude that's just stupid not too great man they're at the goal line at zero zero wish the offense had a touch right now but that has not happened. Come on, defense. Oh, God. He got the edge, didn't he? God, that's unfortunate, dude. This is how we bounce back, Frankie. We're up seven points now, and we have the ball in the red zone. The offense figured things out, Frankie. It's a big credit to you, man. Oh, yes, dude. I have a banger on right now in my ear. Yeah, there's no way I was not going to score, dude. I got a banger on in my ear. Let's go. Michael Lamb, chop. I got Niall Horn popping in my ear, dude. One direction. There's no chance I was not going to score a touch right there. Bounce back in such a great way. We're at 14 points. Just get a touch right here, or even just a field goal, and it's over, Frankie. You'd think this would work dude michael lamb six foot what 260 yeah dude, there's no way he's getting stopped right <laughs> Jeez, you knew that was not gonna get stopped, dude. Let's go, boys, out of the natty. Playing the Wolverines, undefeated versus undefeated. We beat them last year in the natty. We just gotta do it again, Coach Sausage. So Frankie and the offense are off to a slow start. Not exactly what you want to see, but at least the defense is holding them to three right here. I thought for sure they'd get a touchdown, so that's good to see. Come on, Lamb chap. You're six foot, 259, just bull right. Yeah, that did not work. Frankie, dude, we're down 10. He's thrown like two or three picks this game. Like, he has not been good. He needs to step up in the big, big way. Circle. Oh, I can throw that. Frankie, let's go. Okay, we finally scored another touchdown. We're only down three now. Yes, Frankie. The offense got us a touchdown. We're up four points now. It's up to the defense to get a stop and win this national title. No touchdowns. Please pick. 
Let's go, Bertrandius! We got two bowling balls at running back. They're both 260 pounds. This first down should be easy. Oh, yeah, hands for it. First try, baby. Give me that first. Let's go! It's so beautiful, Coach Sausage. Our fifth national title with, honestly, a team I did not expect to win a national title with, let alone go 15-0 and with. Dude, I just realized that. This is only our second 15-0 and season, Coach Sausage. I don't know how we did it, man, but we did. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of guys leaving us early this season. Probably the most we've had so far this video. And you got two trans... You got tra oh, one transfer. Cameron Holton, but yeah, there's a lot of guys leaving early, especially a lot of first round picks. Dangerfield's gone. So is Frankie, John Tiggle. <laughs> his last name. <laughs> Anthony Wang's gone too. <laughs> I'm sorry. His last name is just so funny. We do have a decent amount of guys stay though, which is always nice to see. I mean, these guys are all very, very good players, especially Pawasi Yates. That guy's a 96 overall, so really happy to have him back. Then every single graduate's gonna get drafted, including Jacob Front Hoffel. I love saying his name. He's 69, 259, dude. Like, there's some genetic monsters that we keep recruiting. I love it, dude. Hansford's gonna get drafted. No surprise. 6'1", 270, dude. I mean, why wouldn't he not get drafted? He's a running back, too. I mean, this class, dude, like, all these graduates are just so talented. This class, man, I talked about it earlier. It's just so good. I can't, like, yeah, my God, dude, like, how do you look at this class and you think to yourself, oh, this class sucks? No, dude, any idiot, including myself, like, I don't consider myself an intellectual human being, can see that this class is yoked, dude. This is probably the best recruiting class that Coach Sausage has put together this entire video, man. It's just phenomenal. Roderick Williams, 91 overall, 6'4", 200 pounds, safety. Got Raheem Tillman, 6'7", 250. Joe Sorrells, 5'10", 168, 87 overall. Kevin Watson's from Colorado. Ben Canton, man. Like, we got to go really good quarterback. Trey Amaoko, he's 6'6", 214, athlete, 85 overall. Like, this class, man, there's just so much talent. Now, I'm like this in the country for Coach Sausage, two five stars, 18 four stars. Just absolutely ridiculous, this dude. Like, this class, man. Ugh, makes me so happy. Back for another season, Coach Sausage, and the team looks really good. I don't think it's, like, anything, like, unbeatable. Like, I think we'll have our fair share of close games. We may even lose a couple games. I don't know. I hope we don't, but we'll see. Gage Federico is going to be our quarterback. 6'3", 229 from right here in Texas. 79 speed, so he's not the fastest guy in the world, but he is faster than uh, Frankie was last year. He's got 96 acceleration. <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. But he's only a sophomore. I'm sure he'll have a great season and leave for the draft. That's what they always do, dude. It's annoying. I really want to highlight the offensive line, though, because I feel like this entire video, we've done an incredible job there. You got Quincy McLean, like 93 overall, 91, 99 at center. Pelosi Yates, our best player on the team. Colby Perez at 91, and then you got Cody Morgan and Mickey King, 95 overall, 94 overall. Like, our offensive line is just insanely good. Every single season, like, Coach Sausage has done a great job in the trenches. Uh, 9-2? and two? 6-2 in the SEC, and we're ranked number three in the country. There's a lot of things going on right here that I'm having a hard time comprehending. I think the biggest takeaway I'm going to have is that we're somehow number three in the country. That's all I'm going to decide to look at, because I don't want to think about the losses. Started off incredibly strong. I mean, we scored 73 against the game catch, dude. Oh my gosh. And then we lost to Auburn and LSU but by three and then by five. Like, oh my goodness, dude. But since then, we've bounced back in a strong way. So, like I said, I don't really know how to grasp, but like the rest of the... I'm going to look at something. I'm going to look at the polls. I'm just so confused right now. I always change these for the playoffs anyway. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, Ohio State should definitely be above us. Louisiana Tech, probably not. North Texas, probably not. Colorado, maybe. Louisville, I don't know. Honestly, dude, if we went out, I think we could make the CFP pretty easily because there's a lot of teams with a lot of losses. The good news is, though, the recruiting, once again, is really, really strong. I mean, Coach Sausage is having a field day on the trail, dude. Like, we don't have as many 80-plus overall guys as we did last year, but this class is still, without a doubt, the best class in the country. I don't think there's any doubt about that. We also signed a guy that has the last name that I just will not say. I just say Fago. I I'm just going to pretend that it's French, but yeah, I like the class a lot. I'm going to play Missouri this week only because I haven't played them like at all this video and it's somehow a rivalry game. I think it's like an old Big 12 or yeah, it's, it's like an old Big 12 rivalry. So we're going to play Missouri, but they're really trash. That's why I haven't had the chance to play them. Great start so far. I just want this game to be an absolute assassination. So let's just keep doing what we're doing. Sadly though, Gage has a torn bicep, so he's questionable. He's not going to play this game, but I don't think we need him. We'll be fine. His name's Dior. It's going to be a touchdown, dude. Dior, like we all have all these cool names on these teams, dude. Like I wish I could change my, actually I can change my name, but I don't know, man. My mommy named me Tanner. I should have lived by it. Still at 14 points. Haven't extended her lead yet, but that's going to change right here. X? Uh, that's kind of scary. Square's not scary, though. Let's go! Are you for realsies? Oh, my. That's some H my head, dude. I don't even know. Eh. It's fine. We're up a gazillion points now. The game's basically over, but I'm going to try and score again. There we go. Is that touchdown? 
Oh yeah, get in that round! Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, that was awesome, man. Let's go, GGs. Did not make the SEC title game. Eight and four, Auburn is gonna make it over us because they beat us in head to head. So that's really unfortunate. Lowest seed we've had in the CFP, I think, so far this video. Yeah, four seed playing California. They're twelve and one. They have the best record in college football. So I don't anticipate this game being easy at all whatsoever. That's for sure. Tied up at seven in the second quarter, but we're inside the red zone. Though I expected a close game. Not really shocked by this. We just need to capitalize right here and get seven. Gauge isn't that fast, so I'm kind of hesitant with this play call but we'll see oh it's a keeper gauge is he fast enough oh yes he is let's go that's a south pub baby cakes got the lead let's go they went down the field and scored literally immediately so this is gonna be a high score game it looks like but at least we're back at the goal line circle please thank you let's go nice catch good play brett i don't like this spot at all we're down seven in the fourth quarter and it's fourth and ten i need you to make a play here gauge come on buddy come on south paul oh it's man to man r1 no no uh that's not good so since we did not get the first down right there if they get a field goal right here we are officially done for oh no bro see are you just <clears throat> okay yeah it's over dude you can not did that really just happen <laughs> we have a ton of guys declaring early and the sad part is only two of them are gonna be first round picks that does not help us out with our total first round picks that we need this video so yeah definitely definitely unfortunate but at least these guys get to live out their nfl dream we do have a decent amount of guys staying but not nearly as many that are leaving which is always unfortunate but at least dior's gonna come back next year really looking forward to him he was really good in the game that i played with him so i'm excited for that then for the graduates got some guys getting drafted two wide receivers offensive lineman defensive tackle but dude look at all these guys down here not getting drafted man especially our punter that blows usually I, he was the Ray guy award winner he's not even gonna get drafted that's ridiculous full 25 a recruiting class for us it's another class that's just really good dude like there's just no way around it i'm really upset with how he finished last season so i'm happy that we got a lot of new guys coming into the program you know trying to prove themselves i want some more junkyard dogs on the team so can't have enough of those drew simula from hayden idaho he's a 90 overall receiver greg bartolone 88 overall from right here in texas like we have been recruiting quarterbacks so well the last couple cycles another running back that probably already has five kids he's 6'1 263 i mean this guy's just an absolute tank dude i love it shane miller zach hooker like we did a really good job oh my god he's 6'8 282 this is what i'm talking about dude like coach sausage if you ever have any questions just recruit genetic monsters dude i'll be happy with that shocker to know what number one class of the country i think this is the most five stars we've signed this entire video six of them 14 four stars two do 24 and five star recruits to combine just so good dude look at minnesota i have never seen them that high in this like ever i don't think dude that's ridiculous good for them early on first impressions look at the team for this season it looks pretty solid like it's definitely better than the team last year i know it's easy to say because that team lost three games but just overall wise like the lowest overall on the first page is a 95 and that is a really good sign dior i've been hyping you up dude 97 overall 90 speed 92 agility 91 excel like he's not the best quarterback we've had this entire video but he doesn't need to be that dude just be you dior you're a stud bro a position group though that's really impressive is one on defense with the safety room we got ryan burgeon he's a white db i'm sure opposing offenses will try and target him but hey go for it dude he's an absolute stud 98 overall and then you got steven namalenchki yeah that's how you say it 97 overall 90 speed from right here in texas like these two guys they're gonna be very very good in the secondary super happy to have him back there schedule this year is pretty eh if you guys haven't noticed though i schedule baylor every single season because they're a rival and I, I just like scheduling rivals in this game i feel like it's fun we got georgia ooh, week four that'll be an early challenge mississippi state auburn lsu ole miss ole miss has been really surprisingly good in this video not gonna lie to you i did not expect them to be as solid as they've been texas and then alabama oh man they're gonna be that that like we have a lot of hard stretches dude start out strong three you know overall but you know we're not leading our conference dude texas is already three you know the sec they played three sec games the first three weeks of the season that makes no sense dude i don't understand that but yeah we've been really really good so far then again we played nobody of substance i mean we absolutely obliterated baylor by 44 love it baby recruiting is so awesome dude we got this 91 overall already committed dude it's only week three and look at this class early on dude the instant commit thing with coach sausage is just such a cheat code dude like all these guys are four star recruits five stars too like they're just so good this week though we're playing georgia they're averaging like 50 points per game so i'm kind of terrified not gonna lie but at the same time our team's absolutely juicy we just gotta go out there and play our ball and for this game against the bodos we got 16 guys visiting basically our entire recruiting board so coach sausage is obviously confident in the boys i'm confident too we should be able to win this game and get most of these guys to commit is it dior like a clothing brand could have sworn it is dude this guy's a baller man i love his name I love his swagger that's gonna be a touch this there oh yeah let's go great start men not too good we're down seven points in the third quarter definitely wish we were leading but we have a chance to tight right here so he's got to take full advantage of that come on dia circle oh it's gonna be touching us in it dr laser laser get in there fight let's go man yeah, the determination that's strength and conditioning program right there let's go boys finally in a somewhat decent position we have a seven point lead but they have the ball in the red zone so i'm a little worried can we get a sack please throw a pick oh yes let's go he did it 
way. He did throw a pick at Skullberg, and that's the white TP I told you guys about. Do not test him. Let's go, boys. Just need one first down, and we got to cheat these in the chat. Let's go, man. Ryan's going to be a lucky boy tonight if we can just get this first down. Dior? Dior! It's pinning, get a touch. Okay, no touchdown, but first down, it's game over. Dude, let's go, man. Big win. I was very scared. This game was close for yeah, the entire game. And after the game, we got some new guys committed. Demaria Baker, though, is obviously the headliner. 94 overall. I think that's the highest overall we've got in this video. Maybe I'm wrong. My memory's not too great, but as you guys can see, though, we picked up a lot of good studs, so happy about that. 12 and 0, boys. Let's go, man. Undefeated regular season, so we still have a chance for that 15 and 0, that precious 15 and 0, 9 and 0 in the conference. Offense is really solid, so is the defense. I mean, it was just complimentary football. It's finest. Be Arkansas. Were there any of these games? Oh my goodness, dude. We ran the table just smacking everyone. This is the type of performance I was looking for this season, dude. And I freaking love seeing it. This is awesome. Way too much confidence in the squad. We're playing a 9-3 Tennessee in the SEC title game. I'm just going to simulate this. Like I said, I got too much confidence in the squad. They've been dominant all season long. And there we go. 22 point win, dude. <laughs> Let's go, man. We are just so good this season. I freaking love it. Playoff time. We got Clemson in the first round. Maryland's also undefeated. That is quite the shock sight there, but either way, dude, it doesn't matter. Rose Bullock gets Clemson, the Tigers. Let's go get a dub. I was honestly hoping that we blow them out because their overall is not that high, but it has not happened so far. But it is early in the game. Oh, their kicker's insane. How do you miss the extra point? I don't know. Good question. Still losing, dude. I don't know what's going on. I really thought this would be a pretty easy semifinal game, but no, not at all, man. We are struggling. I kind of just have a sneaky suspicion this play's gonna work. I mean, look at the run box. Come on, Dior. You got like a, you got numbers, Dior. Cut it back. Get in there. Fight for me, Dior. Let's go. Okay, boys. We finally have the lead for once. Let's just go hold on to it. Now. Things have definitely turned around. We're up six in in the red zone. All we really need to do is just get one first down, and it should be game over. Even if we don't, we still gonna kick a field goal or whatever. Yeah, it's definitely over now, though, for sure. Yeah, it's official. I am scared. I don't know how they won by 27 against Texas, and they ran the table in the Big Ten. I don't know who's on their team. I don't know what Greek god they have, but dude, whoever it is, I am not looking forward to playing them. Need to strike fear into him. Dior, get in there. Let's go. Okay, good start, guys. Defense, get back out there. Let's get a stop, man. I don't know what kind of pixie dust Maryland had, but they're not using it right now. Do up 14 points. They weren't the goal line. I mean. Things are looking great. Just run, DR. Just run. Just run. This is my I keep saying it, dude. Dull threat quarterbacks. Cheat codes. Let's go, DR. There's no other way to put it. This has just been a slaughter. We're up 25. We have the ball back in the red zone. Another touchdown. It's for sure over, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we away. Touchdown. Yep. Just. Wait, I don't understand. Well, I don't know. I have no idea. Your guys' guess is good at mine, dude. I, I just do not understand. I thought they'd be a lot better, but no, dude. They have sucked. I'll take it, though, boys. Let's go. There we go. Coach Sauce. It's his sixth national title, you know, last year. Dude, we could be on four peat. Didn't this happen earlier in the video where we could have been on a four peat, but we had like a crappy season in between? It's literally what happened right now, dude. Like last year was kind of crappy, but the two years before we won national titles. Like, it's just weird, dude. Deja vu all over again, but it doesn't matter, dude. We got our neck. Let's go, Coach Sausage. We have a solid amount of guys leaving us early, but honestly, nothing like too alarming. It's like a full list of guys oh my god dude our kicker why does this i hate when this happens dude it's so annoying i'm not gonna have a kicker for next season but it is what it is i guess we have a ton more guys stayed for another season dude like these guys all want to run it back bro i love it dude let's go for a back-to-back -back, man let's repeat I, oh my the list dude this is so good let's go dude the team next year is gonna be yoked never every senior graduated they're all getting their degree and they're all going to the nfl man just good for all you guys congratulations best of luck i don't remember the last time sunny day was this stressful it's been a long time dude but cal and yeri we're going after him. We're in a battle with Alabama for him. The reason I'm going after him instead of Nick Biggs is pretty obvious. He's 6'2", 266. I don't think I need to say much more. And then since we're probably going to get Kellen, I just went after the two other high overall guys. Since we don't really need two running backs, I'd prefer to just get Kellen instead of Nick. We got Kellen. That's a W. I really hope that we made the right decision there. Right, Nick, you're still really, really good. It's just you're not 266 pounds like Kellen. So I think I made the right choice, but I don't know. We'll see in the future. Picked up Gabriel Sanders and Cordell Tillman. We also got Bryson Frey, which I didn't even put any points points into so i'm really happy with how signing date went that's for sure so this is our recruiting class and oh my god it's so good dude i think this is the best class we've had so far this video look at all the 80 plus overalls oh my gosh that's 19 guys that are 80 plus overall oh my and the lowest overall is a 75 this class is bonkers coach sausage man he is not satisfied he wants to keep one of natty's dude i freaking love it demaria baker brian dmp kellen yeri i could cry right now bro like i am just so happy coach sausage man keep doing your thing dude i love getting all these studs do we need all the first round picks we can get at this point shocker to no one six five star 16 yeah it's the best class we've had dude i keep saying this every single year it feels like every year our recruiting classes just get better and better look at wisconsin and kentucky those are two teams i did not expect to see in the top three but yeah they're there's no debate, dude. We hoarded all the five stars and four stars. We just did a phenomenal job this year. Gabriel Sanders is a 96 overall court. 
I'm I'm speechless, dude. Recruiting is so much fun when you get studs like this, dude. I don't think he's going to start year one, but this guy is going to be a superstar here. There's no doubt about it. I'm so glad I got him on signing day now. I'll be honest. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't have good memory, like I said multiple times in this video. Look at the squad for this season. Coach Sausage, you have built up basically a super team. I don't know how anybody is going to be able to beat this team, to be completely honest with you. The only way we could lose is maybe the entire team gets chicken pox or something, but we should be vaccinated, so I'm not really too worried about that. Honestly, dude, I had 499 overalls, 398 this team. The lowest overall in the first row is a 96, dude. This team is just so good. Brandon Turrentine from New Mexico is going to be our quarterback. 97 overall, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. Just a classic dull threat kid that we absolutely love, dude. He's going to be so good. And on the defensive side, we have two insane linebackers, dude. Start with Brandon Fetchadamalem. I always get that wrong, dude. 92 speed, 97 acceleration. That just should not even be allowed. He's just way too fast to play linebacker. It's insane. At this point, dude, Coach Sausage has like an alien at every single position. Like, there's no way this guy should have 99 excel and 92 speed as a linebacker. Oh my god, I cannot wait for the season, man. Wanted to take a look at the championship contenders again. 1-1. One, one. I mean, we're dominant, dude. We're just on top of the football world. Looks like Texas might fall off in four years. That's kind of interesting. What? 7-17-3-2. Alabama, obviously, consistently good. Is there anybody? Actually, it's sort of like four years. Miami, Alabama, Georgia. I mean, okay, these are pretty, like, not really too shocking. Except for Wisconsin. Like, what, dude? <laughs> that's, that's good. That's weird. I freaking called it, dude. What did I? I knew it. Three and one. I don't know who we lost to. Whoever it was, it just shouldn't have happened, dude. Oh, my. This is why I should not hype up teams too much, dude. I just, ugh. The real question is, who is the jerk that ruined our s Kentucky? Really? They're 2-2 two and two week one? Inexcusable. And then the rest of the games, yeah, they were just slaughters, dude. Just inexcusable. Just no way. I was so confident this team, dude. I decided to schedule a top five UCLA team in the non-conference, but this is definitely going to be a challenging game. Our schedule's insane this season, and we have no margin for error after that loss to Kentucky, so it's a must-win game. We have to score it here, dude. It'd be embarrassing if we don't. Circle! Oh, thank you for the throw. That was such a sexy throw, dude. I thought I was going to get sacked, dude. Thankfully, that was accurate. Let's go, man. Good job, Brandon. They scored to tie it up, which I don't like seeing at all, but we're going to score it here. We'll get the lead back. I got confidence. Come on, Brandon. See, I told you, man. Confidence is key. Let's go, us Good job. I mean, they're badly, man. I really thought we'd pull away, but we're only up six points. We need get a first down right here to win this game. Yeah, I don't see how this is not a first down. The, the run box is just so light. I don't know why the CP, it's like they just don't even want to try and stop the run, but that should be GG's in the check. Good job, Brandon. Finish the 11 1, so we won the rest of the season 8-1 in the conference you guys all know who the loss was i still just don't <laughs> there's so i don't know man <laughs> the world's a confusing place wow ucla is number two in the country that does not make any sense because we're number three and we beat them head to head but that's just the cp ranking system for you any close game no oh texas by seven but yeah dude our offense has been insane i mean our defense has been solid so it's kind of what i expected i just don't know how it didn't happen against kentucky for recruiting we only got two cats left on our board keith fortune and dylan bird and we'll be able to get both in the off season so i'm really happy about that when it comes to the commits in the class though we have 490 plus overalls easily the most we've had so far this video like this class dude it's just so good now is there as many 80 overalls no last year we had 19 this year we only have 17 80 plus overalls but still dude this is a class that is going to have many first round picks there's a lot of talent lots of depth i mean top to bottom dude it's just ridiculous like every year for coach sausage recruiting is just way too easy dude he's just so good on the trail thank you dude i want revenge playing kentucky in the sec championship game they're actually ranked now so good for them but yeah we have the advantage you just need to go out there and get revenge we're up seven early i want us to decapitate them guys we need to score a touch right here i want this to be a blow dude do not want this to be close at all third nine not really too concerned though brain is going to convert here c circle touchdown i told you he'd convert man nice catch good job Cody on McCoy. let's go buzz defense has been night and day compared to week one when we gave up 42 points man only giving up three and it's almost out of time just so much better just power just run it right through their face Oh, yeah, I love that, dude. I mean, we just murdered them, dude. This is exactly what I wanted to. We're up 33 points. This game's definitely over here. There's no point to show anything else. We have our backup quarterback in. Like, this was GG's. Coach Sausage's seventh conference title SEC champions once again, guys. Really happy with how we played. We needed revenge, and we got it, dude. That was just a dominant win over Kentucky. This was never close. Playoff time. We are the one seed, and we're playing, of course, Michigan. We play them a lot this video, dude, but I'm excited for it. We need to get another natty for Coach Sausage. Let's go get her done. I am just, like, not concerned about losing this game at all. We have not lost to Michigan at all this video and I just looked at their overall it's only a 91 so I feel fairly confident we should be able to go in this game with ease let's hope for the best and we do we win by 16 so we're on to the natty now national title game take it on UCLA the Bruins we played them in the regular season on the road and we picked up the dub but it was a close game though so I'm sure this will be close too I want to blow it again in the national title game
Square, let's go. That was a tight window, but you know what, dude? Caught it on. He held on to it. Good job, boys. Good start. Oh my god, dude. We are killing them. I do not think that if we play a team twice, they have any chance in the second game. Like, this is ridiculous. This is just like the Kentucky game. Like, everyone's cooking, dude. Brandon's cooking. Honestly, I'm cooking. Chef Tan Man's cooking. Oh, it's gonna be a touch of this. The kid in there. I love that fight. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, this is that beautiful. I'm sorry. I can't. We're up 28. I just, I'm so happy right now, guys. I'm sorry. We just need to score again. I just, oh, this is so awesome. This honestly might be the best day of my life. Actually, no. Pause on that. Let's punch it in, man. Keeper. I know Ben's not the fastest guy in the world, but it doesn't matter, dude. Just an annihilation, man. I love it. Let's go, man. Another national title for Coach Sausage. If you're asking me, oh, Tanner, are you tired of winning? No. Who gets tired of winning? Come on, dude. This is awesome. I'm loving life, man. Coach Sausage wants to run like a monopoly over college football, and that's what we're aiming for for it now, man. We're not there yet. I don't think the mission has not been accomplished, Coach Sausage. We just keep on grinding. Let's go, man. I love it. Oh my goodness. Look at all these guys leaving early, dude. Ben 10 is leaving and we didn't even get to freaking play with him really. I mean, he was the backup like garbage time, but dude, oh my goodness. Lots of guys leaving early, man. It's never nice seeing this. I mean, these guys are all really, really good. Like, look at all the 99 overalls leaving early, man. Sucks, but best of luck in the NFL to you guys. And we got four transfers. No! No! Gabriel! He's going to LSU! Gabriel, please. Please, buddy. I, you will play next year. I will make sure you start. You cannot go to LSU, please. Gabriel? Oh, no. Oh, my God. This is by far, like, the worst transfer, like, output we've ever had. Like, we've never had an 88 or a 96, let alone both tra- This is not good, guys. This is not good at all. We do have a decent amount of guys staying, which is nice to see, especially after seeing those transfers. I am scarred. I really was looking for it. Oh, no, dude. Gabriel, but it sucks, dude. But at least we got some good guys coming back. They believe in the program. They believe in Coach Sausage. They want to win another natty. And then every single guy is going to get drafted, including six first-round picks. I think we had five guys that are leaving early that are going to be first-round picks as well so 11 first round picks in total just ridiculous ridiculous draft dude like this team was so talented which is why i was shocked we lost i thought this would for sure be a 15 and 0 season it did not happen but we still got the natty so it's all right this is why i try to recruit as many guys as possible i mean this class is still probably quality wise our best class this entire cycle but i just cannot get over the transfers dude like the team needs wise now we need two quarterbacks because we had two guys declare and then gabriel transferred gabriel would have started this year but no he decided to go to lsu i still cannot get over that but i just need to focus on this recruiting class it's really stinking good i'm happy about it you guys know about the top four i got john butler monty sanders deshaun james Corey ruffin like this linebacker room is oh it's gonna be so good in the future keith fortune uh, nick jones terrell ross tyler santa katarina i mean this class is just so good no way nine five st oh my god oh my dude not a single guy we signed was not a four or five star coach sausage man he's got all the infinity stones at this point dude he's literally i'm like look at wisconsin again dude they're turning into a jug like recruiting wise i don't know what they're doing man but they're getting guys up to wisconsin i don't know how they're doing it but they are since that was year 15, I want to update you guys and all the goals such challenges for this video. So now we're 7 for 7 on national titles. That's done. 7 for 10 on conference titles. Still need 3 of those. Heisman Trevor winners, you got that. First round draft picks were 72 out of 100. So we still need 28 more in 5 years, which is going to be pretty difficult. And then 15 and 0 seasons were 3 out of 5. That is the one that really worries me. I don't know if we can do that. We'll see. I mean, no surprise to anyone, dude. Our team's insane again. We have 399 overalls. And oh, wow, we got a white DB again. That's nice. We've had really good luck with those recently. But yeah, this team it's it's really good dude i i'm really really looking forward to what we can do this season you know last year we had that stupid loss kentucky i just want to run the table and try and go 15 and 0 man that's the biggest goal this season i think we can make it happen greg bartolani is going to be the quarterback this season 98 overall 77 speed from right here in texas he's a dull threat kid we love him dude he's just really really good the thing i'm worried about though is the quarterback depth as you guys can see you know like i said we had two guys to leave early for the draft and then we had freaking i just don't know why gabriel left for the transfer portal dude he was going to start this season on actually i don't know what do you have he was a 96 last year he probably would have got up to a 99 yeah he probably would have started over greg so i don't know what that guy was thinking but he is going to be an absolute monster at lsu i'm not looking forward to that game the good news is though that the running back room should be really really good on offense though trying to help out the quarterback room a little bit we got chris flowers 6 foot 268 you guys know how i feel about these big boys at running back dude we just keep recruiting him i don't really care too much about the speed because he's still got 91 of it but man he is really really good he's a low jordan scott's not as big neither is riley dickerson but our fourth running back is kellen yeri i cannot wait for this guy to start playing dude 6 2 270 i mean our running back room is just so good now what i was hoping for 10 and 2 7 and 2 in the sec it looks like our offense i mean it was the best in the sec uh, at least in our division but it just wasn't good enough we usually get at least 500 our defense is really really good though only 211 points given up so that's good who did we lose to we started struggling against kentucky we're putting up a lot of points then all of a sudden it just stopped dude lost to Ole Miss by 12 giving up 40 points that's a no-no beat texas by 20 love seeing that and then we lost to alabama oh, in overtime too man that blows for recruiting this year it's gone really well now has it gone 
mind as well as it has the last couple years? No, but that is like generational recruiting. I don't think I've ever recruited that well in this game. And that's throughout all my videos on this channel, honestly. Like the last two or three recruiting cycles have just been insanely good. This one's not nearly as good, but it's still really, really talented. I'm happy with it. SEC Championship game, Coach Sauce, we're playing Georgia. They are a top 15 team. They have three losses though, so this should be a winnable game. I just realized that isn't Greg like the name of the guy in Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Love that movie growing up. Got Rowley, Roderick, of course. Just a great movie. Is this a keeper? It's a keeper. Come on, show off your speed, Greg. Gregory, let's go, boys. Good start. Playing great, guys. We're up 11 points. I really have no complaints. Offense doing good. Defense doing good. Let's just score again right here. Get another seven points. Is that such a Greg? Oh my God, that he put that on a freaking beam. Oh, that was sexy, Greg. I was really hesitant, but man, you made the throw. Let's go, Greg. Time to put the nail in the calf and up 18 points. We're inside the red zone. Let's put a sleeper hold on this game. These midline read options are a lot more difficult to read. I mean, it helps I have four eyes, but we'll see. Yeah, it's keeper, keeper. Go, Greg. Yeah, just two weeks. Let's go, Batalane. Somehow, Coach Sausage, even when we lose two games in the regular season, we managed to win the SEC championship this season. Man, big success in my book, man. I'll definitely take it. We'll see if we can make the playoff. I'm pretty hesitant. I'll take a look at the polls and see how it goes. I did not expect to see this, dude. Greg Bartolani, the Italian, somehow wins the Heisman, even though he went 11-2. and two. I don't quite know how, but hey, dude, good for you, bro. Congratulations. There just were not many impressive teams at all. I'm going to put us at the two spot because we won the SEC championship. And that's without a doubt the most difficult conference in the country. So really thought there'd be a lot more teams with either one or no losses, but no, just Michigan and Louisiana Tech. Semifinal against Florida State. I'm like pretty sure they beat us in the semifinal one of the times this video. So they're definitely a keeple team. So we got to be in our P's and Q's this game. I tried scoring a touchdown. I freaking blew it, dude. I have to settle for a field goal right here, but at least we get the lead first. That's nice. Our kicker sucks, dude. We need our, I'm so glad I recruited. Well, we keep getting walk-ons. The defense sucked in the regular season, but they're stepping up right now, man. They're pitching a donut hole against Florida State. This is great. These routes are always fun. Squares touchdown is the yeah. The slant against man-to-man -to -man coverage, it's like a gimme touchdown. Good job, Kevin Watson. They clawed back a little bit. We're only up 11 points, but I think we get a first center here. I think it's for sure GG's. I mean, the clock's our best friend right now. Gotta convert here, Tan Man. Oh, there is the slant again, dude. It's just the money play, and of course, dude. It's freaking Kevin Watson again, dude. That's game over. Let's go, man. Don't think anyone would have predicted a losing an attack to win that game, dude. They got killed by Michigan. This is gonna be another showdown against the Wolverines, man. Every single game against them so far, we've won. So I'm hoping to keep that streak alive. Strong start for us. Already have seven points, but they're about to kick this field goal. It is decently far, so I'm kind of curious if they do shank it. We shall see. It's up, and no, they got a really good kicker. I went through. Dang it. I love it, dude. I want another blowout in the national title game, man. We're on our way. We're up 11 points, and we're back inside the red zone. It's going good so far. Yes! Oh my god, that was such a tight window. I was holding my breath, dude. Oh, good job, Ricky. Let's go, man. This is the game right here, guys. If we get a stop, we have ourselves another national title. May we're up 11 points. Come on, defense. Get a stop here, men. Fourth, please. Tackle! Tackle! Let's go! Yes! Okay, that's for sure another national title for Coach Sausage, man. Let's freaking go. The eighth national championship for Coach Sausage. I think it's this third straight. Oh, it's the third straight, man. That's ridiculous, man. We're just dominating right now. I freaking love it. We still need two 15-0 seasons and 28 first-round draft picks. So, yeah, we're still a little ways away. That's for sure, man. Especially the 15-0 seasons. That thing terrifies me. I don't think we can do it, man. We'll see. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, there is a lot of first-round draft picks that are leaving us early, dude. There is going to be a lot of turnover. Oh, my God. Yo, this is not good. We got a transfer to Jordan Carter. I mean, uh, oh, we got our punter leaving too. Oh my gosh, dude. Every half season, it's just so annoying, man. But best of luck at the NFL to all you guys. We only have four guys staying. Oh my goodness, dude. We got the short end of the stick, man. That's for sure this off season. So many more guys are leaving than staying, dude. Sucks. We only have three guys graduating, though, which is good to see a first round draft pick of six. And then our tight end's not going to get drafted, though. Tyler Malinchek. Feel bad for you, dude, but you're 6'7, 279. I'm sure you have plenty of value in the world. The dreaded signing day, dude. I always hate these when that's so stressful dude it reminds me of, like taking econ in high school my friend talked me into it because he was a year older than me and he told me the class was easy i took it and every single day was stressful that's what sunny day reminds me of i hated econ i'm not a very smart person you guys know that i did not do well in the class if you, as you guys could imagine but the strategy is pretty obvious we really want lorenzo we kind of want kalahi and then uh chancellor as well so we'll see how it goes what happened we didn't get kahali or chancellor but we did get lorenzo so i mean that's the bright side we got the most important guy but would have loved getting these two guys as well but even if i want to put my typical 5,000 points into him i wouldn't have got either of these guys so i guess it just wasn't meant to be i'm happy with lorenzo either way so this is our sandy class coach sausage 19 guys that would have liked to get into that 20 mark but i mean it's not really the end of the world the only team need we have is a stupid punter now because ugh, i hate when that happens man you guys know that though at this point i've said that many times but it's just so freaking annoying but the fact that we only got a 76 overall quarterback kind of concerns me for the future because as you guys know you guys saw our starter from this past season leave for the nfl 
NFL draft. So there's a lot of question marks in that quarterback room. That's the most poor position in football. So that's not a good spot to have question marks at. But Lorenzo, obviously the best guy in the class. Just an absolute animal from Texas too. So had to keep him in state. Also, Jared Galvin, another guy from Texas. Maurice Foster from Youngstown, Ohio. Oh, that's kind of cool. Took him from Ohio State. Love seeing that. Eddie Hockaday. I love that name. Eddie Hockaday. That's cool. Damon Jadson, Stephen Dooley. I mean, there's some really good players and some good names in this class, man. All in all, really, really successful signing day. Not nearly as ridiculous as last year's class. I think we had nine five stars last year and 14 four stars, but it's still a very, very good class. Six five stars, 10 four stars. Just a really good haul. Look at the squad for this year, and I'm not going to lie, man. We really got gutted. Like, I think the team this year, if we would have returned most of the guys that left early, would have been insane. But the fact we had, like, what? It was like double digits. Like, it was like 12 or 15 guys leave us early. Like, that really gutted the roster. But I mean, the team still insanely good. I'm just, I'm not really expecting a 15-0 season this year, though. I don't know if that'll happen, but we'll see. Gunner Sapien, I love his name, Gunna, but 86 speed, he is without a doubt the lowest overall quarterback we've had start in a long time. Maybe back to Connor Wegman, I think. Yeah, it's been a long time, dude. I mean, I think it'll be really good here, but being thrusted into this is just a true sophomore. I don't know. I think it'll be challenging, but he's got a really good team around him, so we'll see. He does have help on the defense side of the ball, because we have Zach Hooker at defensive tackle. He's 6'8", 294. <laughs> he just like, have fun trying to run at that guy. And then he's got Demaria Baker right behind him, 9 overall. Like, those two guys are just menaces on defense. And then you got Joe Sorrells in the secondary. He's only 5'10", 173, but dude, he's insane in coverage with 97 speed. The defense this year should be dominant. Wanted to take a look at the SEC Conference Outlook for the preseason. We're at 1, Texas at 2, Ole Miss at 3. Oh my goodness, dude, look at this. 1, 2, 4, and 5 with Bama. So in the SEC West, we have 4 of the top 5 teams in the preseason. That is ridiculous, dude. Georgia's down here, Florida as well, but our division is going to be so challenging. LSU with Gabriel, he transferred there. I'm excited to play them this season. At least I think we will, because I know last year he had to sit out because that stupid transfer role I used to have. So this year will be very, very interesting for sure. I'm excited. Undefeated start for us, 7 0, but I can't help but look at Alabama, dude. They're 6 0, but look at their defense. They've only given up 79 points. Dude, oh, Howard, that's insane, bro. That is going to be an absolute battle when we play them. Started really strong, but then we had a close game against Arkansas. Only beat them by one. Oh, my goodness. We had an overtime one against Auburn, too. Yeah, we are playing on thin ice right now, dude. We have very, very little margin for air. It also doesn't help that Gunner Sapien is actually hurt, so our backup true freshman Kyle Gudis is playing for us right now, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I guess the good news is that Gabriel's hurt for this game. He's already a sophomore redshirt, so he's probably gonna go to the draft after this season, so I don't think we'll ever have to play him, which I'm super happy about. And for recruiting, once again, I mean, at this point, I keep saying it, dude, but it's just so easy to recruit for Coach Sausage. He just walks into the kid's living room, puts down his eight national championship rings, he's like, hey, do you wanna get one of these or a couple of these? And they're just like, dude, why how could you say no to that, man? I, I'm sure that's what Nick Saban does. That would be the ultimate flex for recruiting. Like, what kid would say no to that, dude? Unless they're getting, like, paid from, like, Miami or Texas A&M or somebody like that or somebody that pays players. I guess that's, like, the only thing that would really make you say no. Take it on LSU, and I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that we are not going to have to play against Gabriel, dude. Oh, huh, it's so nice. But we do have a true freshman quarterback starting for this game, so I am petrified still. Shockingly good start for us. I mean, we are at home, so that's the advantage. But I honestly thought the offense would struggle. But so far, no. They've been good. I like this trap play call because we have a 270 pound running back come on get in there like go you're killing Yeri. That's a touchdown. Did not extend our lead, which is sad, so we're still only up seven points, but I got belief in Kyle. He's gonna give me a touch right here. Come on, Kyle! I know Kyle isn't the fastest guy in the world. Oh my god, he just got the engine revved up just enough, man. Let's go, Kyle. Good job, buddy. Oh gosh, they cut into our lead, so we're only up seven points, but we really just need a first center here with our 270 pound running back, Kyle, and we should be all right. Are you see we were- Oh my god. Wow. Kellen! Bad! Oh no, defense, we need to get a stop right here now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, don't let that be a- Oh god, okay. We need a field goal now. Oh man. Can I make that throw, please? Oh my god, he launched to the Uganda! No! Kyle! Oh no, we're gonna lose now, aren't we? The CPU is so stupid. Did they just run out the clock? Oh my goodness, it's going to overtime. I feel like we don't even deserve this win at this point, bro, but whatever. I guess we'll have a chance for it in overtime. Let's go. Just make the throw, Kyle. Please make the throw, Kyle. Please make the throw, Kyle. Let's go, Kyle! Yes! Gonna go for two? We're gonna be the aggressor here, Kyle. We're gonna be the aggressor. We got like 20 slants on the field right here. Something's gotta get open, right? X! Let's go! Okay, defense, get a stop or stop the two point. Either or works. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, pick! <laughs> what are they doing? It's 
It's like a Kyle throw right there. Let's go, man. GG's. Let's go. I don't know how he won that game. We don't deserve to win that game, even though Kyle threw the ball to Uganda when I needed him to throw it to a wide open receiver. But whatever, dude. I'll take the W, man. Whatever way, however it happened, I don't care. Let's go. Finish 10 and 2 right behind Alabama. I was worried about them, dude. Their offense was better than ours, and then their defense was way better than ours, dude. Only giving up 208 points. That's incredible, man. It blows, man. It's gonna be fuel to the fire for Coach Sausage this offseason and the players, too, hopefully. Wow, we lost to Ole Miss. That was the other loss. Oh, yikes, dude. I thought, oh, I thought it was Texas. No, we beat Texas and we lost to Bama by nine. Oh, wow. That's just both games on the road, too. Oh, man, this is gross. Clemson 7-5 and five are playing them in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. It's funny because I just watched Clemson lose at Duke by 21, so I don't know, man. I'm probably not going to play this game because they suck, so I'll probably just simulate it. Just going to simulate this. I have no desire to play it because, like I said, Clemson 7-5. and five. Like, how are they even in a freaking New Year's 6 bowl game? Like, that is confuzzling, dude. We should blow them out, right? Are you for realsies? Oh, my God. I talked all that trash just for us to lose to Clemson, man. Oh, my goodness. This season was just a catastrophe, bro. Ugh. We got a few guys leave it looks like four of them are gonna be first round picks so congrats guys but yeah every single guy that's leaving is gonna be in the top two of the draft or top two rounds of the draft so i'm happy about that i'm happy there's no like seventh or sixth round projected guys leaving us early those are always annoying but dude take a look at all the guys that are coming back for another season i don't blame them dude we lost three games last year i don't even remember the last time we lost three games was it like five or six years ago because we had that like 10 and 4 season yeah every once in a while we have like a three or four loss season i don't really know why it happens but it does four out of the five guys that are graduate though are gonna get drafted which i absolutely love to see two of them are dbs but are fullback he's a 65 overall i just nobody wants that guy i'm sorry steve sighted day has commenced in this class is so good coach sausage you are just a menace on the trail like the other coaches have to hate you know having to recruit against you as soon as they go after the same guy like we have 21 80 plus overalls that is insanity dude like oh my god our lowest overalls is 77 dude oh it's so beautiful i love recruiting it's so much fun i think the reason why this class probably is as good as the class that we had a couple years ago is because we only have one 90 plus overall and that is Talanoa Irwin, right tackle or left tackle from Paca Pocahontas, Arkansas. I know. Is it Pocahontas? That's right. There's a movie about her, I think, or something like that. Yeah, I think there's some historical relevance there. She's got her own town named after him. That's cool, too. Tannerville. Eh, it doesn't sound as cool as Pocahontas, but it's close. We also got Kevin Bowman, Yaha Crumbly. Okay, that's a sweet first name, though. Yaha. Or Yaya. I don't. Oh, Yaya Crum. Oh, Yaya's a dope name. I like that. I'm going to just call him Yaya. Fuwa Woods, Kelvin Bergen Jr. Junior 64. Oh, I love it, man. The height. I mean, this class. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm blushing too much. We got two quarterbacks that we really needed to hit, man. This cycle. You guys know about that. The position depth has really been lacking. And we got two really, really great quarterbacks. Gotta be number one, right? Yeah. Five five stars. 24 stars. Oh my god, it's just ridiculous, dude. Not as many five stars in years past, but 20 is by far the most we've had so far this video. Trade results are in. Early impressions. Every single guy on this, except for John Butler, went up plus four or plus five. So that's good to see. We also our lowest over all in the first row is a 96. That is a very, very good sign. Oh, yeah. This team looks... Oh, yep. Yeah, this team looks good. There's no way... Yeah, the team last year was a lot... I don't want to say a lot worse, but definitely considerably worse than the team this year. I think it's pretty obvious. This team, it's going to be very, very special. I'm excited for it. Gunnar's back at quarterback again. He's up to 91 overall. Like, just... Please don't get hurt, dude. Do not get hurt again. We were really screwed last year when you got hurt. Just don't get hurt, man. I'm really happy with the quarterback recruits we brought in. The quarterback room should become a strength again, but dude, that one offseason we had, that just screwed us, dude. But Gunner, man, just please, like I said, don't get hurt. We'll be fine if you don't. And then the defensive side, we have an insane linebacker core, dude. You start with Corey Ruffin, 98 overall, 88 speed, six foot five, dog, man. Monty Sanders, 99 overall, 84 speed, six foot two, 227, another dog. And then Deshaun James, six foot four, 219, 99 overall. 79 speed dog dude like 99 99 and then 98 with kofi it's just so good perfect start of the season we're 8 no 5 and 0 in the sec really good points for and really good points again so clearly it looks like we're blowing a lot of teams out at least that's the hope dominated week one and then only beat vanderbilt by seven only scoring 24 points that's uh definitely not been what we've been doing the rest of the season so i don't know what happened on that week two i just gotta make sure it doesn't happen again but i'll take it man really good start I mean, the offense has just been so good sadly though recruiting this cycle it has not been nearly as good we don't have the amount of commitments that i was hoping for i mean we have a solid amount of guys but it's not like the usual like 20 i don't think we're gonna get 20 guys to commit this class which is really not good but i mean it is what it is the unfortunate part is that we're in a lot of battles which is why we don't have that many commits so far so it's just one of those years man where coach is gonna have to go head to head against a ton of schools for a lot of prospects i mean we only have so many points man 6500 we can't put 700 points to everybody unfortunately this week we're playing all miss at home they're number three in the country and they beat us last year so this is 
a revenge game for us. Great opportunity for us to uh, get revenge after what happened last year. Inside zone split. It's got a cool name. It should work, right? Yep, it does. Let's go. Good job, Austin. So far, dude, we are balling out. Up 14 points, so we scored another touchdown, and we're back in the red zone. So things are going great so far. I thought I was going to pass, but look at the run box. Like, this should work. Come on, Austin. Just punch it in, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come back. There we go. Okay, perfect start, boys. We're playing great, man. Defense especially. Like, I'm really impressed. Oh, man. I really wanted to blow them out. That's not happening. We're up 18, but if we can just score again right here, I think it'll for sure be over. Let's make a nice throw here. Gonna. Gotta, gotta, let's go! That's GG's bad. Great game, guys. I'm really impressed, man. Like, we're playing really well this season. It's awesome. Oh, my. Dude, I thought for sure this would be a season when we went 12 and 0, but no, we lost. Look at our points for our points against. Oh, man, we didn't even give up 200 points this season on defense. I have no idea who we lost to, but whoever it was, screw you. Beat Texas by 23, and then Alabama, really, on the road by 10. Oh, dude, I thought they'd be worse this year, so they've beaten us two years in a row, man. That is just not a good situation at all. Thankfully, though, we still made the SEC championship game we're playing the gators i think this is the first time we've played them in the sec championship game i might be wrong about that but i'm looking forward to it not the best start for us huh gonna we're down seven we haven't scored yet but we need to try and change it right here x gonna gonna when you're a quarterback and your name's gonna i mean you have to be a stud there's just no way around it back on top up 14 and we're in the red zone so we're starting to figure things out which is nice to see gonna run gonna run gonna He's got this. I, oh, wow. That was the worst dive attempt ever. He's got no stamina. Give us a Gatorade choose. He'll be fine. Let's go, man. Good job. Still up 21, but if we can just score right here, I think this game's definitely over. Give her a keeper, man. It's as simple as that. It's a keeper. Keeper. Gunna. Get in there. Oh, just bounce off. And then they're fighting in there. I love it, Gunna. He played great today, dude. It's the dominant performance of the SEC title game. Really proud. And there we go, Coach Sausage. Another SEC championship to add to the trophy case at home. I'm sure it's just loaded with trophies, man. Just an odd playoff field. I put Ohio State at four. They were the best team to put at four. There's a lot of teams with three losses, man. So playing them in the first round, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we smack them. I'm just not worried about losing this game at all. I'm going to simulate it. Like, I think we should be able to win this with ease. They lost three games in the Big Ten. Like, this should be a W for us. And it, oh god, it, I thought they beat us. Nope, we won by five. That was a lot closer. I was hoping for it, but we got the win, boys. It's all that matters. Play Georgia in the national title game. They took down Wisconsin by 19. We did not play them this year, I don't think. Not in the regular season, or yeah, because we played Florida in the SEC title game. So playing the boat Oaks and Kirby. We're confident. We're gonna go get a dub. All right, gotta time to show off the legs, baby. Uh, to keep her kind of. Touch on. Yes, let's go. Okay, good start, boys. Let's keep it going. I hate doing this, dude. We're at the goal line. We're only up four points. I wish I could just... I don't want to go for it. I'm going to play it safe. We're going to take our three points, go up a touchdown at the half. I feel like that's a smart approach. Even though they just rough the kicker, it should be a freaking penalty zebra, man, but they're not calling it. In a great spot, up seven points. We're milking the clock right now. All we need to do is get a touchdown, and I think we got another national title in the bag, Coot Sausage. Of course, we're going read option here. Gonna. It's our cheat code play. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, too easy. Gonna. Let's go, baby. Should be GG's. We'll see if they do something wild, but I think that we should have this one in the bag. Another national title for Coach Sausage. He is now 9 and 0 in national title games, which I am definitely shocked by. I thought for sure that we'd lose a couple of these, but no, dude. I don't know what it is, dude. He's just got his team prepared or something. I'll take it, man. Let's go. Oh, no. Look at all. I mean, it helps us out with the goals for this video because we're at 98 first round picks out of 100. So we should be able to get that done since we have two more seasons left. But, dude, look at all these guys leaving, man. All these first round picks. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is not good, dude. We have a lot of guys leaving the program. They're all very, very good, too. Definitely not as many guys staying behind for another season, which sucks. But Keith Fortune's coming back. He's really good. Also got our tight end, Trayshawn. Smith and then gonna he's coming back for another season love it man every graduate's gonna get drafted for us except for our punter he just was not that great at punting but Cade Fuko is gonna get drafted so is Adam Smith and Jawan Nwachukwu so best of luck in the NFL you three excited days here for Coach Sausage and I am not looking forward to this dude I don't think I'm gonna get all four guys I'm really trying to like build not a science guy million IQ outsmart finesse the recruiting system but I just do not think we'll get lucky enough man but we'll see what did we do what did we do what Titus didn't commit we didn't get Wow, wow. So we got one out of four. Oh, yikes. So this is our signing class. There's only 14 guys. It's disappointing numbers wise. I mean, the bright side is I have to cut like 10 people every offseason, it feels like. So I'm sure cutting people this offseason won't be as difficult, but it's still a good class. There's a lot of quality. There's just not that many quantity. There's not a lot of guys. But Sean Harris is the headliner of the class. He's a 93 overall five star cornerback from Mexico, Missouri. That town name, it just gives me bad vibes, man. What happens in Mexico too with the cartel and stuff? I don't like those people. Very, very mean. And then we got. Eli Provenzano, Provolono, I don't know, Nick Moreau, 
Hall is also good. Khalid Thomas, we got a really good tight end Hall. We got Khalid and then Garrett Maxwell. I don't know what Ivy means. Roman numerals, I think that's what it is. I'm just going to say it's the fourth. That's a guess. But there's no doubt about it, dude. There's so much talent in this class. And we still got the number one class, man. Four five stars, nine four stars, ten three stars. So clearly there's a lot of walk-ons. Maybe we'll find like a gem or something. Maybe we got like a Rudy walking on. That'd be nice to see. No pressure, guys. These last two years, we need two 15-0 seasons. So we need to go 30-0 the next two years in order to uh, accomplish the goals slash challenges for this 20-year dynasty. So no pressure at all, guys. I think we can do it, but I'm not too confident. Gun is back at quarterback, 95 overall, 88 speed. I don't know what it is about the kid. He's not like the highest overall guy. If he was, he would have left for the draft. But dude, he's just a gamer. I don't know what it is about him. He just balls out when the lights are the brightest. I love him. And we got to highlight our 399 overalls this season. Trayshawn Smith, the best tight end we've had so far this video, in my honest opinion. And I'm really happy that he came back for his senior season. That was nice of him. Also, Keith Fortune, he came back. He didn't have to, but he did. And he's a stud at safety. And then we got Lorenzo Bakari at outside linebacker. 6'5", 237 from right here in Texas. Just three studs, man, at the top of the team. I mean, they're all very, very good. The schedule this season is pretty manageable compared to like years past. Like we've played some really challenging schedules, but I don't think this is one of them. That's for sure. LSU is good. So is Ole Miss. Uh, Texas is always solid. Alabama's beaten us two years in a row. So that's a troublesome game. And then we end the season playing Missouri, but I'm never worried about them. They, I don't even think they've beaten us this video. Maybe earlier on, but they have not beaten us in a long time. On the right track so far, we're 10-0, 7-0 in the SEC. Really good offense. Our defense is not nearly as good as the defense last year, but our offense has picked up the slack. So happy about that. Started with a close win against Baylor. So pretty interesting there. We barely beat LSU and Ole Miss. Huh. Back to back weeks. Those are two really good teams. So that makes sense. Then we bounced back and absolutely annihilated Texas. Recruiting this year is elite once again. We get this Johnny Williamson guy, 6'1", 228, defensive end, 94 overall. Just an absolute stud, dude. There's so many good players in this class. There's definitely going to be a lot more guys in this class. I think we already have like, what, 20-ish commits around there. So it's already more people than last year's class, but we needed to do because you guys know last year, I think we only signed like 14 guys. So you had to get some more numbers this year. For this week though, we're playing Alabama on the road. I'm playing this game because the last two years we've lost to him. So we need a bounce back, guys. We need to win this game. It's a must win, dude. I want to try and go 15-0 this season, give ourselves a chance for next year. Ah, oh, dude, gun is hurt. So our backup Kyle is in, but I'm honestly not too worried. We should be able to still win this game pretty easily. Touch it right there. Kyle, get in there. Come on. I told you, dude. Daniel Haney, we got some studs, man. This offense, man. Loaded. Let's go, boys. Good start. A lot closer than I'm hoping for, man. We're tied at seven, but at least we have the ball inside the red zone. So we got that going for us. Come on. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, we have a huge running backs, dude. Austin's just the big, strong, manly man. He was not going to be denied. Let's go, boys. This is what I was worried about, dude. We're only up four points, and they have the ball inside our territory. So things are not going too well. Blitz, can we get some pressure? Pass rush. Pass rush. Out of bounds, please. Oh, no, it's not good. Okay, Kyle. It's all up to you, man. The defense, just not good today at all. Only three seconds left. You know, the smart approach would be to take your field goal, but no. I'm not doing that. What would Vin Diesel do? That's what you got to think to yourself right now. And he would go big or go home. It's going to be a touch right here. I'm calling my shots. WWVD. What would Vin Diesel do? He would score a touch. Oh, let's go. Just make sure we make the tackle. We should be A-OK. -okay, and it should be G. It's an offensive lineman. Let's go, dude. GG's. I was really worried about this game, dude. I knew Alabama would give us a game. And of course they did, dude. That was very, very stressful. Oh, no. I don't like seeing that. We ended the season and beat Missouri in overtime. Ooh. Uh, not a great way to end the season, but at least it was a win. So now we're playing Georgia in the SEC championship game. I'll be honest. I have so much confidence in the squad. I mean, I don't really think this game we can lose. I mean, we might be able to lose, but I don't think we will lose is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, okay, then uh, we lost. Well, that is awkward. I, uh, I take that back. We definitely could lose. God dang it, dude. I had so much confidence, too. Oh, man. Playing Cal in the first round, I'm kind of concerned after what happened against Georgia. And I think we've lost to Cal in a CFP semifinal once this video. So, yeah, I am definitely a little worried about this game. I was worried about this, dude. We're down 7 nothing early on. We don't have gun at quarterback. He's hurt. It's just, it's not a good situation, man. We need to get 7 right here. We need to tie this game up. It's such a square. You got to make the throw, Kyle. You got to make the throw. Cool. Yes, you did. That's why I need Kyle. Benny Perry, touchdown. Let's go, boys. Tie game. Ooh, this is so much better, dude. We're up 7 and we're at the goal line. You see a capitalizer here, Kyle. I'll touch our one. There we go. Wide open. That was just horrible defense. There's nobody over there. Let's go. Up 16. If we can score a touch right here, I think that's math. We'll be up 23. So, really great spot. And it should be game over. Oh, my goodness, dude. He's so fast. Oh, my God. He's so fast. That's going to be a touchdown. Please get in there. Find a way. Let's go. We just have so many, so many studs on offense, man. Let's go. That should be GG's. I don't think they can come back now. I had a weird, sneaky suspicion this would happen. LSU was really good this season. They're 12 and 1. It's not going to be an easy game, dude. They beat Michigan. We played them in the regular season and we beat them by five. So, yeah, this is going to be a close game, especially without Gunna, man. I am worried. The offense drove right down the field and got seven points, so that's good to see. But they're going to kick a field goal right here. I'm just glad that we held them to three. If they would have tied it up, that would have been pretty unfortunate, but at least we held them to three. One of these times, I really want to block a field goal, dude. Can I 
I try? I'm gonna go on the outside this time. Try and block it. Come on, Brad. Ma, please get the edge. Ugh! Nah, nah, did not, not even close, man. Dang it. Oh, brother. They tied it up at 10. So, Kyle, we need you to get a touch right here, man. Nice little handoff. Can this be a touchdown? All about that base. All about that base. No trouble. Let's go. Good job, Austin. Pretty simple, guys. If we want to win this game, we have to get a first turner here. They have no timeouts. All we need to do is convert this Kyle. And it's GG's. Come on, buddy. No picks. No picks, Kyles. Oh, God. Throw the flat. Check down. First down. Let's go. Run him over to the weight room. Yeah, boys, let's go, man. Trey Sean. Coach Sausage, her 10th national title in 19 years. Just ridiculous. Easily the most dominant dynasty in all college football history, and it's not even close. And we still have one season left, Coach Sausage. We could go 11 for 20, man. We'll see, but I think the biggest takeaway from this video so far is we're 10-0 in national title games, which is just ridiculous. I don't even know how, because we lose in regular season. We lose in conference championships. We've lost in the semifinal, but we've never lost in the national title game. That's just Coach Sausage's preparation right there for you, man. A lot of guys leaving early once again. I mean, the good news is that We've accomplished the first round picks thing. We're up to 107 now, which is just ridiculous. Oh my goodness, a kicker's leaving again, and we got to transfer Justin Yankee going to Alabama. Of all teams, Justin, of all teams. But as you guys know, we only have one year left, and we still need two 15 and 0 seasons, so it's just not possible. I mean, we can get another conference title, though, and go 10 for 10 there, so that might be the goal next year. We'll see. How are there so many guys staying and so many leaving? This is conf. Oh my. Dude, why the how? I this, this team had a lot of underclassmen, huh? Yeah, that's the only thing that would make sense. Yeah, because there's a boatload of guys staying, too. So so pretty interesting dichotomy going on here. And then for the graduates, three of them are going to be first round picks. Two of them are going to be fifth round picks. Their fullbacks are not going to get drafted. Neither is our cornerback. Jordan's not going to get drafted either. But, you know, Gunner's going to go in the first round. So is Tyler. And then so is Treshawn Smith. That guy was such a monster at tight end. I'm going to miss him. So this is our final signing class for this video in Coach Sausage, man. And I'm pretty happy with how it went. I think we have 15, 80 plus overalls. Yeah, 15 guys. So really happy about that. We also got some good talent down here as well. It's not like these guys are slouches by any means. So all in all, man really really good way to end the recruiting for this video johnny williamson you guys know him he's a stud he might start year and eh, no we've had a really good defensive end room he probably won't start year one he might be able to rotate though then we got dante wood 6'6 227 very curious to see what position he plays Derek bowman's a really good quarterback mitch wilkins cole pollard taylor deween 6'6 like these tall guys man i love them bo denard got some really talented guys like oh man it's just there's just so many good players number one class in the country once again three five stars 19 four stars it's been i don't even know when was the last time we we're not number one class in the country. It's been so long, dude. I love it, man. We're just dominant. This is the final team for this 20-year dynasty, and it's another team that's ridiculous. The lowest overall in the first rows in 96. That is a very, very good sign. <laughs> yeah, this team's really, really good. Now, it doesn't matter. Goals-wise, like, they can't be accomplished, but guys, let's end with a bang. Let's go 15-0. I want to end this video on a very, very high note, okay? Let's just try and finish with a bang. Kyle, you know, I'm impartial to you, dude. You've had some good games. Like, you played good in the national title game, but you also played bad against Georgia. You didn't play that great against Alabama, so I need the good Kyle for this season. You're only 68 speed, so, I mean, there's certainly some things I don't like about you, but, I mean, you win games, so just keep doing that, and I'll be happy. And a position group that's just loaded is the free safety room. We got Jacob Wolf, 6'2", 200 pounds, 99 overall. Then we also got Dylan Burton, 6'3", 233, a big boy at free safety, so 91 speed. He's really, really good. 99 overall, 97 overall, like these two guys in the back end of our defense are very, very helpful. Guys, this is not the way I wanted to end this video, dude. 5-2, and 3-1 and in the SEC, so we lost the non-conference game. Our defense has been really good. The offense has been kind of, eh, but the defense, dude, only giving up 106 points. That's really impressive. UCLA week one. Oh my goodness, dude. Lost by three. Then we lost to South Carolina Gamecocks, too. Outside of that, though, I mean, we dominate everybody else. Playing LSU on the road, and of course it's raining. I think every time we've played LSU the video, it literally rains all the time. I don't know if that's what it's like in Louisiana, but dude, it's always raining, it feels like. Either way, we need to win this game. It's pretty obvious. We've already lost twice, so we cannot lose again. We need a good start here, Kyle. I want to start hot, man. I want to let them know he's going to be popping this game. There we go, Kyle. Good start. All right, exactly what we need right there, guys. Just got to keep it going. They're battling back. They're throwing some punches, but we're still up seven points, and we're inside the red zone. I'm not really that worried. Let's go, Kyle. Circle. Triangle. There we go. He's open. Yes, dude. The slants are just OP. You just put a bunch of slants on the field and you hope for the best and good things happen. This is exactly what I wanted to see today. We're up 21 points in the fourth quarter. We're just smacking them around. We could score again right here, and this one's for sure over. Oh, here we go, Kyle. 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 Oh, he Oh, he did catch it. I thought he dropped it for a second. Let's go, Cow. GG's, man. Great way to end the season. Our game. I'm, I'm so I'm stupid. Okay, game. You know what I mean? Complete 180, dude. I honestly thought that we lose another game. We did not. We finished 10 and 2, 8 and 1 in the SEC, so we definitely beat Ole Miss. And we're number one in the country, which I don't really know if that's going to like stay there. We'll see, man. Had a close win against Ole Miss by four. We smacked Texas, Alabama, and Missouri. So, end of the season, really, really strong. What's that like a eight game winning streak to end of the year? So, I can't complain about that. Looking at the top 25, there's no way we should be able to make the playoff. 
this year. Yeah, there's legitimately no way. There's no, how are we number one <laughs> with all these one loss teams? So since there's no chance of making the playoff this year, I'm probably gonna play Georgia in the SEC title game. I feel like that's gonna be the move. Down seven in the second quarter, the offense, just like it has all year long, it has not been it's not been picking up the slack. The defense has had to, man. I hate doing read options with Kyle, dude. He's just not Thank you, it's a give. Thank you, it's a give. That was such a stupid decision. That was the easiest touchdown ever. Thank you for that not being a keeper, dude. If that was a keeper, we were chalked. Up seven in the third quarter. I mean, the defense has just carried us, dude. Like, they're just playing so great. I need you guys to hinker down here, though. Can now let them score a touchdown. Come on, boys. Okay, tackles, tack, or not. That's weird. We finally have a good lead. We're up seven points. All we need is a first down right here, and it should be GG's. I don't know why, but the gameplay is like clunky and like slow motion right now. I don't know why. It's weird, but I, it doesn't matter. Just need a first down right here. We yeah, it's so slow motion. I mean, it's easier for me to run and see the lanes, but either way, it doesn't matter. The game's over. Let's go. There we have it, Coach Saucers. The 10th SEC Championship of this video. Just dominant, dude. Just 10 in 20 years. That's literally half. Yeah, that's math. Half. It's just so great, man. Good job, Coach Sausage. This bull game just does not move the needle for me, man. Play Louisiana Monroe. This should be an absolute absolute murder. I would be shocked if it's not. I only won by 16. I mean, I mean double did you win, but not a murder, but it was still a good win. Coach Sausage, man, what a 20-year dynasty. We went 10 for 7 for national titles, 10 for 10 on conference titles, 2 for 1 on Heisman Trophy winners, 120 for 100 on first round draft picks, but the 15 and 0 seasons, man, we went 3 and 5. But all in all, Coach Johnny Sausage, 239 and 43 career record, 63 and 9 versus rivals, 90 and 26 versus top 25, and 27 and 3 in bowl games, including 10 and O in national title games, man. Just a phenomenal coaching career. And I think it's safe to say that he turned Texas A&M into the next dynasty. Don't forget to leave a comment to enter into the giveaway. And I played a dynasty until NCAA ended. Click the video on the screen if you want to watch it. I think you'll love it.